on beanies and sweatshirts does that matter <laughs> i feel like i feel like we're not bringing up the game to him now it's like well, i have the patent on that amazing thing you just talked about ufos i own the patent <laughs> we are live everybody we're, we can't do that talk about that in public now <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It's all, all right good. guys we are live, we are live, we are live. Welcome everybody to our final Midweek Mix-Up podcast of 2021 mm. and we are joined with two unbelievably awesome guests in both ACG Crack or Angry Centaur Gaming as you know him and of course Lord King David of the Iron Lords. Uh, we will start with the introductions of our guests first and then get to our panel. How are you doing today ACG? What is going on? 
Good, good. I just uh, I just released that preview video on Sifu, playing some other games for reviews coming up, and uh, hoping for a less eventful Christmas, as we talked about prior to the podcast. Yes. Hoping for better luck <laughs> this fall than I had in the last two months. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, it's good. Thank you very much for inviting me. No, anytime, anytime. It's absolutely awesome to have you on. Uh, next up, of course, needs no introductions, but we'll get one anyway. Lord King David himself, how are you doing today, brother? I'm doing incredible. Um, I want a more eventful Christmas. Uh, some news dropped today. Uh, but, you know, I don't celebrate Christmas, so I'm waiting for the solstice. The 21st can't come fast enough. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, that Microsoft uh, documentary, I'm knee-deep in it. Pause. I watch every episode twice. Because I'm fanboying the first episode and I'm taking notes for the second episode. I mean, the second time I watch it. Mm -hmm. But the first episode, I'm just purely 100% remembering and living it and just... And I, I, I feel for each and every last person that had their hand in the making of uh, of changing how Microsoft is viewed. And, and, and I was completely wrong on my perception of Xbox role in Microsoft's company. I was a complete fraud because I thought they were a little, you know, thing at the table that they didn't really care about. And uh, this is for me. Um, <laughs> Bill actually really gave a damn about that Xbox. Yeah, yeah, what's funny is he said he really didn't even totally understand it either. But he yeah. was like, he trusted the people. That w One thing you'll hear about with Microsoft, even with Phil, is there's a bit of trust sometimes where somebody's like, okay, I'm not exactly getting what we're talking about, but let's run with it and then see later. And I know some people think that that can come across as like almost like wishy-washy, mm -hmm. but in a weird way, as we talked about prior, it also got us into hard drives in consoles. Cause I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if we'd have a hard drive in consoles the way we do or as yeah. advanced as we do without the Xbox originally yeah. saying, let's throw a hard drive in here. And uh, yeah, it's very cool, man. Awesome show. People should watch it. Yeah, shout out to Steve Ballmer for okaying a lot of things. Steve! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, was, he was so, so hype slash put across as a very angry man in that in that as well, wasn't he? He was just so... <laughs> but mm -hmm. also extremely Steve's the down type of guy economics. who smokes and puts the nicotine patches on, right? Yeah. Just rolling around. <laughs> Every time he came out on the thing, sweat. That's what I liked about Steve. He was the typical guy who didn't care like he was just like, this is the greatest day of the and he's got sweat Full dripping off of him. Yeah. And you were just like, whoa. He, yeah, he was. I mean, regardless of what you think of him, and he wasn't the greatest to work with. Uh, it was um, man, energy, energy, energy pure. Yeah, oh, hundred percent energy. And that was that was it was like you mentioned though that documentary itself was it was both eye opening and amazing to watch. Um, it was just yeah. insane the amount of stuff that they actually spoke about and talked about and. And unraveled um, the the breakdown of just how hard it was for them to to develop the Xbox in the first place, and just how much stuff went wrong with it, even up until the point where they're showing it off and it doesn't work. Uh <laughs> the transparency was ridiculous. Uh, some some company trade secrets you hear about in whispers and stuff like that. These guys were laying out every nook and cranny yeah. on the line and. I, I respect, I already knew who Aaron was as a person. Respect him a whole lot more now. Um, but Steve, I would love Steve to go to war for me. Like, yeah. that is the guy. If I'm going to war, I'm taking Steve Ballmer with me. I'm taking a couple of those dudes that are 100%. And then to hear some of the integrity that they had with certain people. And it was like, that's the guy for the job because his level of integrity is incredible. Yeah. That's yeah, that stuff is amazing. To have somebody yeah. view you in that manner and everybody say the same thing about you, you can only hope to have that level of respect across your peers. Incredible stuff to watch. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. It was just in, just like you say, it was just insane in terms of the amount of uh, the amount they actually came throughout the whole place from top to bottom, and then at the end of the day, they were just it came down to the fact that so what's Sony doing? And there's like. Yeah, okay. Give it a <laughs> that's fine. Just go for yeah. it. Yeah. Just go for it. We can't let yeah. Sony take the we can't let Sony take the living room. It's it's not happening. It was Yeah, in a weird way, Sony birthed Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
One hundred percent, and that was just just through the, the 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 gaming experience. Just how many games on on PC that they were making, and how well they'd done it. And then they would think, and well, we've got this gaming thing down. Why can't we do it in the living room? And then they were having the doubts about whether or not they could pull off what they wanted to pull off, which was a truly yeah. next generational leap in in gaming. Um, but no, absolutely <laughs> awesome. And and really, the only the only thing I've got about the documentary that I think a lot of people have said is they want to see more in depth. Maybe it's a little bit more in depth on what happened and what went wrong with both three sixty. Um, because they they talked about the red ring, they covered that, and then they moved mm-hmm. on. And then the Xbox One, it was kind of glossed over, but that was an epic failure that needed dived into. They kind of glossed over the Xbox One's mishaps dramatically, and then just went on right. Okay, well, so see how you know they evolved. If 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 you're looking at a documentary in its whole, right? In the, in the beginning, everybody wants to know about the genesis and stuff, and the stuff that you overcame to become a success, right? Yeah. But you're not going to dwell on your pitfalls as well, because again, you're still in the marketplace, and then you still don't want to relive those bad cookies that you already <laughs> was eating, right? So yeah, you're like that happened. We're going to acknowledge that happened. I slipped and fell, but I eh, I got up and I went forward, and then that whole xbox one i didn't get to that part yet i'm I'm, like i said i'm still in the middle of the documentary uh somebody told me a a certain don makes an appearance and i am probably gonna (laughs) have to have a stress ball with me when i'm watching that episode but (laughs) (laughs) again um there's there's an absolute reason why um i feel so attached to uh this company and uh, and it's it's truly the level of transparency because you get a chance to meet these people when you go to these trade shows and stuff like that. Like I met Bonnie Ross. So for me to say uh, that 343 needs to step it up last year, it really hurt me even to say it because I know how hard that these individuals are working, but it didn't hurt me to bend the knee uh, last week when uh, Halo came out and I gave it up to them making probably the best halo since the first one in my opinion yeah. uh and, and, and i, I and agree with you king yeah yeah i agree with you i mean that's 100 percent, and and we'll get we're getting into halo anyway is one of our main topics oh, um sorry. so i'll look forward to that <laughs> um so i'm looking forward to everybody's <laughs> thoughts on that um but we will also get the introductions for the rest of our panel we'll start top to bottom here so first of all box and burger how are you doing dear brother and uh, what you've been up to yeah, thanks for the invite. Thanks, uh, everyone, for joining you today. I'm excited to be here. I almost didn't make it. Uh, we went on a short family trip for two days. So um, I just came back, basically, two hours ago. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to, to be here today. And yeah, so I played a little bit on my Switch, actually. Uh, I dusted it off. Mm. <laughs> I've played it in months, I think. Um, but I took that with me on the trip. And I watched the entire documentary um, King was talking about uh, on the trip on my on my uh, tablet. So, um, yeah, that was really, really well done. Um, the production quality, by the way, is awesome of this uh, documentary. It's really well put together. Um, I like. I really like the inside. Um yeah, good stuff. So that's basically what I've been up to. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Sean Ballon, how are you doing today, brother? I know you've been very busy with uh, with uh, teaching and whatnot and getting all your paperwork done and uh, different different, different teaching <laughs> things that you have to do. Uh, but how has your gaming uh, been? Have you managed to get much time in in uh, Halo Infinite and, and others? You want to know how my gaming day is going? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my gaming day. Here we is go going again. Exactly <laughs> like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Learn to sell his back, straight. baby. Yes. I was having a rough week, but now I feel myself coming out of the fire. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> You've been waiting for it for a long time. Are you happy that it's a oh, remake and not just I... a, and not a new game? <clears throat> In a way, uh, I'm I'm glad it's a remake over a, a new game because right now I don't trust Ubisoft to <laughs> make a, a linear game that hasn't got so many places that you need to to raid before opening up a bit more of the map and having. Although I do still expect there to be heavily microtransactions in terms of gear that he wears and whatnot, but that's by the by. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm all right with it as long as it it looks good, as long as it plays well. Um, and I, I think I mean it's been what 
is it 20 years since the first one? 15? E, maybe? 15, I think, yeah. 15. 15 years Ooh, since the first one. So I don't mind. Years. If you're gonna make a if you're gonna make a remake, I think that's that's an all right time, especially when you look at the tech available. And now, I was gonna say, so if you have a look at what they the even rock. just the preview they showed off for Dead Space, uh, and the remake oh, yeah. that they're doing. Oh no, yeah, that's that. that's a good yeah. Yeah, they said this so, one is using Snowdrop. So oh, Snowdrop. So yeah, I'm good. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Overall, um, this week's going all right. It's a bit of a busy week. Um, I have. Uh, I'm in control of 21 eight to ten year old munchkins tomorrow. <laughs> um last week. So Munchkins. Oh yeah, so no, they're, they're all right, they're all right, my kids I've got. Um so just yeah, to you? catch ACG and King David up. Um I am training to become a primary teacher, which is the equivalent to um elementary to middle school. Oh, okay. Age. Uh so yeah, I'm in my first first semester of training to do that. Uh, it's very, very tiring. I have so much respect for teachers now. He still has his youth. In five years, he's going to look like Robert Redford. Yeah. He's going to look I'm, like every president five years. Every now. president. Five years time, Barack, gonna... Barack shows up looking like an NBA player, and he leaves looking like somebody's great, great grandfather. He said, like, give his cane. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, right my now, mom right? was in the middle school, um, like school kind of, you know, situation, and it yeah. aged her, man. It's yeah. It's rough. I'm walking around like Paul Rudd at the moment, and in five years' time, you're going to be Clint Eastwood. Let's hope. Yeah, exactly. You'll be talking to a chair. <laughs> the grumpy old man. Oh, Get dear, off mate. my lawn. <laughs> Gr- Gran Torino. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've, I've not had much gaming. Weekends have been, well, I'd say weekends, Saturdays have been my gaming. Sunday's been my catching up with paperwork and lesson planning, and then the rest of the week is get home. Uh, do a bit more work and then go to sleep. Yeah, and that's yeah. pretty much my life right now. But <laughs> Friday is my last day, uh, and then I'm breaking up, and then you can re- re- try and relax for a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit gutted because I do like my class. I've got, I've, I'm lucky enough to have a really, really good class. I've heard some horror stories from some of my other friends in the course, <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really lucky. Awesome stuff. No pool and I've got a really supportive fire, teacher. Yeah. And I've got a really supportive teacher, which is really good as well. That's good. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Next up, Vinny boy, how are you doing today? What are you being up to? I'm doing uh, really good. I mean, uh, I've got a week off from today. So at first, I didn't make the show. Then uh, apparently, I had so many days. I had to take. I had to take off. So <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm now. Uh, nice. I'm now a week off. So that's a good thing. Uh, tomorrow is my uh, daughter's birthday. So uh, oh. Happy of the youngest. The youngest is getting uh, six now. So that's a good thing. And yeah, I've been gaming a little, not much because of work, but uh, I finished The Last of Us 2 finally. What, what, one hell of a ride. That's, uh, that's one thing for sure. But it's, I, it took I, I you think... for 14 parts, right? 14 parts of the stream? Uh, yeah, 14 streams. Or 15. Yeah. yeah. yeah something like nice. that. Yeah. I, uh, how how how'd you finish? How how do you, how do you feel about the game after you finished it? After I finished it, yeah. Well, after you, after you finished the game, how did you feel about the game after? Because I I really had to take a damn moment and gather myself. So um, I just want to know other people's perspective of it. You know, I I, I well I was a bit in doubt. You know, because um, I I first played uh, the last first part one, right. and then I did two right after it. And at, at the start, you, you want to think uh, along with Ellie, right? Mm-hmm. You, you think that's the main story. But uh, I heard some stories about Lost of Us 2, you know, about Abby and, you know, all this weird stuff. But, you know, I, I just went in completely blind, you know, just to see what it is, is like. And I really enjoyed it. And if you play a game from her perspective, from Abby and stuff, yeah, I, I understand it as well. You know, and... The further the story goes, you know, you you, you kind of want to know more about her side than Ellie's side, right? Yeah. And then you have this. Uh, can I spoil it or not? Yeah. No. I, it's, no, it, no. That game has been out for a while, so you can do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Go I ahead if you want, no. but man, I wouldn't. <laughs> you, you don't want to spoil it. You don't, you don't want to spoil it, ACG? 
I just don't like to spoil games because a lot of my, I mean, I run a budget based channel. So like a lot of okay. people are saving money anyway. And so okay, yeah, yeah. you would be surprised how many will hold off, you know, on games yeah, that you the... would think, oh, they've been out, you know, for a yeah. while, but whatever. I usually yeah. stick I mean, with generations. My, my backlog is so, big. I have a ton of games I, I, I should have played, but haven't. <laughs> and I would, would be, <laughs> wouldn't like it if someone spoiled them. Okay, so, yeah. no, okay. Don't spoil so it. <laughs> you have this, 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 this the, the final scene. You know, you know what I talk about, right, King? Well, that, I cried. Well, I cried. I cried. I did not want to make a decision no. that the game was forcing me to make. And I exactly, my, yeah. My girl was sitting right next to me, and I'm shaking like a blithering idiot <laughs> with tears and coming <laughs> out of my nose. Wow. And um, I'm like, you know, um, because I I got daddy issues, right? But so when her, oh, yeah. when, when when certain hap when certain things <laughs> happen. To the, a couple of the characters, because yeah. to these characters, things happen. Yeah, traumatic things happen, right? Yeah. That shouldn't be in a video game if you're just having fun. This is this is more than that, to be honest yeah. with you. With a lot of things, a lot of things in this game, and it has a yeah. lot to do with uh, yeah. adults and how children view adults and the parental guidance on certain things. Um, but <laughs> then the, 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 the scene you mean? No, that scene, that scene itself, the one that you're talking about. I didn't want to make that choice. No, same for me. Yeah. I did not want to. I really did not want to make the choice because I didn't want to. I, w I feared the outcome of yeah, yeah, making I, I, that yeah. choice. I had the same, but you have to because if you <laughs> yeah, think. You got to yeah. the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do There's no other way. So, well. Yeah. Amazing it, stuff to me. I yeah, think it's, Neil it's, Druckmann. Yeah, very powerful storytelling. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 really enjoy, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed the game. Level. Yeah. But. You know, it's you know the best thing is that at some point you think, okay, it's gonna go this way, but yeah, it's completely it different. Yeah, you know, I, I really love it, but the ending, you know, it makes it possible for part three. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So I, I hope it's gonna. Uh, I hope it will be there. So I finished that and I started Final Fantasy VII remake finally because oh hmm, good one I can wait forever for it to come to Xbox, but uh, probably won't. Yeah. So <laughs> it's coming one day. And I, and I can borrow my my brother's PS4 a little longer, so uh, why not? I just, I just started it, <laughs> and of course uh, Halo, but that's another topic. And I did some uh, some shit games for the true achievements uh, <laughs> and uh, Game Pass Cross <laughs> challenges. <laughs> the twelve days of Christmas are shit, by the way. True achievements. If you're watching this, it's fucked up. <laughs> 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 Fair one, fair one. Okay, I, I, that's clear. I, but I, I, I didn't watch the document document uh, about Xbox yet, so I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm now a week off, so I have some time. So. Yes, you, you <laughs> yeah, really right. enjoy yeah. it. To be honest, you really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I, do... I, I loved a Dreamcast, you know. So I, I hope it's about the same level as uh, a Dreamcast. I hope. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 It is. It uh, is. Last but not least, Patio, how are you doing today, brother? What have you been up to? Go on. Well, Make today the I'm doing really good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so today, guys, I uh, passed the uh, test. Uh, well, I got my driver's license, so I passed the test uh, today. Awesome. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. Uh, just want to do a big shout out to, to everybody who sent a message this morning or yesterday. Uh, yeah, man, I, f I feel blessed, uh, especially with uh, Pink Vibes. She uh supported me in this time so yeah man i'm I'm really happy that i uh, finally got it after all these years <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah man it's it, it was one of the things that that was pretty hard but you know like uh it took half hour and uh yeah it was all good so nice. i'm super happy with it guys yes <laughs> so what, what, felt, what felt better getting a driver's license or your first chicken dinner in pubg <laughs> uh, <laughs> getting my driver's license man <laughs> yeah without a doubt so yeah man uh, my, my chicken dinner was in pachinki so i'm gonna go with my chicken dinner <laughs> <laughs> yeah nice well yeah like uh, what i've been up to uh it's it's been uh quite busy on work so uh yeah focus is more on work at this moment uh did some gaming of course uh playing a lot of forza horizon 5 uh tried to get all the achievements but unfortunately again there are some challenges are bugged in the game 
<laughs> so I cannot complete the challenges and it's pretty frustrating. Uh, and of course I played Halo as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm blown away by that game. Uh, it's actually the first game that I'm really playing. Uh, I played some others before, but didn't took the time for it. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's from, from the beginning when I started just blown away by how it looks, how it plays. It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's basically, those are the two games that I played, uh, the last few days. Awesome. Awesome stuff. And we will get into Halo Infinite because that is our first topic for today. Yeah. Of course, diving into our, uh, campaign. We're specifically because we've all touched on multiplayer and what can be improved there and the trials and tribulations of the battle pass and all that um so we'll not touch on the multiplayer right now even though there has been a positive update uh today i think it was or yesterday uh, where they eventually introduced uh, earlier than expected the free for all playlists um so of course that should alleviate some some people's issues with it uh, for at least the christmas break um but we're talking about campaign today, and uh, we want to dive into the impressions of the campaign from the panel itself. Um, our essential early reviews for those who haven't finished it, and impressions for those who have. Um, first of all, we'll get to, uh, I think, uh, Boxenberger, first and foremost. Yeah, I've seen a post just beforehand. You got yeah. back in the house, you started playing Halo with immediately. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> How, how, do you, how are you we, we feeling about it? How are you feeling about the campaign as a whole so far? I love it. I love it. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. But uh, we came back from uh, from our family trip, and um, I put the kids right after that to bed. Uh, went down, played an hour of Halo <laughs> before yeah. I came on It's here. like, you guys got to go to bed. <laughs> That's right. One hour, hour earlier. Go to bed and play Halo. Halo. No, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't eat yet. Yeah. <laughs> go to bed. Yeah, we make us dinner, Daddy. That's fine. Whatever. Go to bed. Here's a hot pocket. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have time to microwave it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Trust me, I've eaten one of those. Pocket. You never want it. <laughs> Just looking on the hot pocket. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty oh, yeah, much yeah. it. No, uh, just tell you that I really enjoy the game now. Now I think I'm I'm almost done. Um, it, at least it feels like I started the last main mission. Um, so um, I can't say, talk about the ending or anything. If if no. I like that, we will just see. No, that. No. I love the open world. Um, uh, it's it's fun to play a Halo game like that. Um. I, I like that they didn't take the the Ubisoft formula, put it on there uh, on that setter ring. It's just all optional stuff. You don't need to do it, um, but it's fun to actually do it. <laughs> so I I really like that uh, that they encourage you to do uh, the side missions, not because you have to uh, in order to to level your character up or anything, but uh, uh, you have to do it because it's simply fun. Um, the sandbox is awesome. It, it, I really like how the game lets you do anything uh, you want. You can approach everything in, in so many different ways. Um, really like that. Um, I like the story so far. But what is really outstanding um, to me is the sound design. Um, oh, you know, yeah. you know, um, I'm a huge audio guy. I, I um, And I have to say, this is really outstanding. Um, it's not just that the... the Voice acting is, is so is so damn good. Um, the the weapon is is awesome by the way. Um, but the, the actual sound effects, um, the way the the, the the gun sound, they really pack a punch. Um, the spatial audio is really well done, and I think they probably talked to Ninja Theory because at some point. You have uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the final <laughs> audio uh, effects um, that yeah. are, are really, really well done. The whispering. So, yeah. 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 The whispering. I'm not talking. <laughs> That's exactly what <laughs> it reminded me of. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. it, it's really awesome. Uh, um, yeah. So I, I really like the game. Um, yeah. I hope to finish it uh, either today after the show or tomorrow. Um, so we can have a proper discussion on on the big show on Friday, but um, yeah. yeah, I think um, that's that's really a, a well done Halo game. Um, the best three for three has done definitely. Don't know if I say it's the best ever, but definitely the best from three for three. 
How would you rate it then? If you, if you were to rate it up there with with the original trilogy, then how would you how would you rate it? Ooh, ooh, uh, good good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, Halo Two is my favorite out in the series. So yeah, same, here. same here. Um, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, two. Mine was yeah. mine was free. <laughs> yeah, I think three had the better st story. Uh, yeah. That was th that ending was definitely more impactful. But the thing really is, Halo Two multiplayer was just yeah. Yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, the first time playing online with a console that was just that, that will forever stick with me. So, yeah, it's a good question. Um, it's it's definitely um, um, one one of of the be best Halo games so far. Um, I I don't know if I can rate it right now against all the other Halos. Uh, maybe yeah, in, a, in a month finish. or so. We'll yeah. in, uh, <laughs> we'll wait until yeah. the finish, and then I usually I don't like to to um, use these uh, superlatives um, right after I finish the game. I always wait a month or so to see how did the game st stick with me. How how yeah. do I feel about it a couple of weeks after I finish it? it. Um, yeah. Because that that really tells you. Um, if if the game is actually as good as as you would think it was, so yeah, I I can't rate that uh, in this way right now. That's fair enough. That's fair. But enough. I I really like it. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, Sean. I know you haven't probably had much time with it so far, but for the time that you have had with it, how how are you feeling about the the campaign from three four three? And do you think they've actually uh, redeemed themselves? Um, I didn't even think they needed that much redeeming. To be fair, no, I just think exactly. I think a lot of people just hate for hate's sake. I know there was definite weaknesses. I'm not going to say that they're this paragon of gaming and everybody's misunderstood them, um, but I don't think it's ever been as bad as people make out. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I think it's by far their best one. Definitely by far the best one. I enjoyed the story of four. Yeah, um, I like the whole Cortana chief uh, element, especially at the end. Um, yeah. That was one of those close to tears type. Oh my god, she's dying, um, yeah. and then she, she disappears. Halo Five, um, I thought was all right, but I didn't like the whole not playing as chief. But the story I thought was okay, and I liked where they were going with Cortana. Yeah. Um, so we've moved on to this one. I'm about. I, I don't know how far I am through it. Um, I kind of tend to like to section things off so i've done the first bit so i've done all the missions and i did all the collectibles in that area mm -hmm. then i moved on to the next bit and i'm doing the i've done the missions in that and i'm going back doing the collectibles story-wise without trying to give away any spoilers um i've had the scene with the pilot hmm. right okay um, right okay. Just, I, I started that area and i went no i need to go back and get the collectibles from the other area so that's where i am in the story if that makes sense to people oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That point. The, the second to third bio mm. yeah, yeah 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 um and i'm really enjoying it it's, it's quite quite obvious that it was had co-op in in mind uh i did hear somewhere that it was only supposed to be two-player co-op when it releases which it looks sense. like it was quite... set up. It looks oh, like it was set up for four. To be honest, it, it definitely. Yeah, looks well, that's like what I was saying four. to you. Yeah, that's what I was saying to you. It's like they've got when you go to the um, FOBs, they've got four weapon bins, which would yeah, 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 exactly, if it was yeah. only for two. So I don't know whether it was supposed to be four, and then it went down to two, and they haven't erased it or whatever. I kind of hope it's four. Um, I miss co-op. Um, it's it's hard when you've got a friend. And you're trying to explain something, especially like um, a collectible, and you just want to go, I'll just jump on and show you, but you can't. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the gameplay, the gameplay, Sonic, I love. I've never thought I'd actually enjoy the, the grapple, but I really, really enjoy the grapple. I got the achievement yeah. for getting for using the grapple 50 times in the first level because I was just dicking about, <laughs> swinging everywhere. Um, <laughs> and, then when you, and then you upgrade it to uh, where it charges, it charges 40% quicker. And then it's oh, just, yeah, yeah. You know, the world's your oyster in that mm -hmm. game. Yeah. Um, but I think it's like somebody said the sound in it is really good it's it's fun yeah. gameplay I think it's a little bit sparse with coming across enemies now and again um, you can go quite a fair distance without coming across any enemies um, 
What I do but like, though, is I, that really in terms of enemies, as you mentioned that, what I do like, though, is that you will find enemies on the map in places you wouldn't think they would be there. They'd just be, like, random encampments of enemies, just, like, on top of a mountain, mm-hmm. prote- protecting, like, a radio yeah, station. For me, that's that's a guide to have a have a quick look around to see if there's any collectibles in the area. Yeah. Um, what what, what are you playing on? You're playing on what console? Oh, Series X. Okay. No, I mean, because, you know, it's um, available for the whole family of Xbox uh, products, so... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a you know fair question, you know, because I have uh, my son playing on his Series S, and he actually can see the performance mode on it now. So he just like called me like, performance <laughs> 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 Definitely, definitely. No, I mean it's yeah. it's held solid. I've not noticed any dips in frames while I've been playing. It. So I, I mean I don't know if there is for people. Uh, mm-hmm. I've not seen anybody complaining, but it seems pretty solid for me. Um, but you... I think, yeah, I mean, because I, I can't really talk about how far I've been because I, I'm still, I probably what guess about halfway, maybe, right? Okay, um, yeah. my only criticism, well, I would say criticism, or my only criticism, but a criticism I have is I kind of feel that they may have bailed on the Cortana storyline, which I was really heavily invested in, um, or it's either that or it just they haven't got to that point they've that, kind of that, mentioned her every yeah time now, no that's but there pro- doesn't seem to be no no don't say it, Drew. yeah i won't say it but they haven't bailed on it but you'll you'll be you'll be pleasantly good. pleasantly wrapped up with that kind of later on in the story oh good because <laughs> the, yeah there's, there's a bit like i said with the with the um the pilot and then flying back there is a conversation yeah between some people so and i was hoping it goes a lot deeper than that because i really i'm really invested in the cortana storyline i really I I love that element of the Halo series, mm. um, and I, I want that to end sat- satisfactory. Yeah, satisfactorily. Mm. Oh, I don't. Mean, I'm supposed to be te- a teacher, and I can't even speak. Um, I bet kids. you do good in <laughs> front of the class, though. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, Friday, Friday, my last day. Friday, it's glitter day. We are oh, we so are playing with glitter. Start chicken on off until glitter? Friday. <laughs> um, glitter day. Oh, it's going to be a glitter day. Yeah, we are making Christmas cards, and there is going to be glitter. I am. I'm Aww. not apologising to the cleaners either. No, I will apologise. <laughs> well, that's cleaners. how I came home with glitter. It was a problem. Um, but no, yeah, as a whole, I think it's, it's, I think it's a really it's a really strong game. Um, I'm interested to see where they're going to go long run. Is it going to be always cross platform, or is there going to be a cut off date at some point? Um, yeah. where they have to go, you know what? That's it's if you want to carry on the Master Chief story, then you need to get it on next gen. Yeah, um, but we'll see. We'll see. They got the cloud for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. No, 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 it's true. That's that's a, that's a really good point. Um, and if the infrastructure keeps progressing as it is, then it sh- you shouldn't really have that much of an issue with it. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, ACG, you put out an absolutely awesome review. Of course, is one of the reviews that I, I they basically match up with my opinions and thoughts on games. So you're one of those reviewers that I respect highly. Um, but you also do an awesome job. You're not one of these people that gives it points or scores out of ten or anything like that. It's just buy, wait for a sale, or don't buy. Essentially. <laughs> um, <laughs> and on obviously with with Game Pass now, it's a bit of a different prospect for you as well because yeah. now it's buy. Game Pass or don't yep. get it all, don't play it. Um, yeah, Game Pass has definitely adjusted things, but uh, yeah, overall, I mean, obviously, your review summarized it very well. But your thoughts after it's probably sat with you a little bit longer has it has it changed at all? What are your thoughts on it? I'm not that kind of person, man. Yeah, if, if the moment <laughs> the game's over, I'll give you a rating, and I don't think it's ever changed in my life. I was yeah. asked that a couple weeks ago, yeah. like, have you ever later thought differently of a game? And I'm like, I wouldn't do a review if I did. Yeah, I'm right. pretty much, I think, and there's been games where I'm like, I'm not comfortable with whatever I'm thinking of this game, so I'm gonna wait you know a couple days or whatever or play it more but with halo i think it's solid i did not like the starting at all um i know people have said oh i thought it was horrendous the first 45 minutes where they were they were sort of trying to capture on to what it was like in Mm -hmm. halo one but it was just sparse it looked ugly it was it was very boring and i was like oh you know i'm just waiting to get into the open world spot i get what they were trying to do but it just did not work for me and i know okay. other people have been like it was a perfect callback i just played halo 1 i thought halo 1's starting was better right and so if they were trying to call back they didn't to me didn't they do a good it. enough job if that made right. yeah they missed it 
Um, I would say Halo 3 is my favorite still, but that is because this Halo has a huge, huge problem. And that's, it is meant for co-op. Yeah. Right. It, it is. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. there there are parts where you play it where you're like, this just doesn't feel perfectly right. There's there's some things, even way enemies come out sometimes. You're like, this is yeah. kind of set up for two or two three ways. or you four. Can go yeah. two ways on things. Yeah, and yeah. I love the flexibility. Grapple, I'm... Dude, put me on the list of people who thought that was going to be crap. Yeah, that grapple too. is the greatest fucking dude coming around a corner <laughs> and sliding corner, through, changing the corner is the yes. great. You're just like, oh my god, this changed my world. Like this yeah. is, and I, I thought that was the dumbest idea. I was like, oh my god, we got another grapple. What? No, they did it just right. So the game yeah. has so many things. It's got the audio. There was one issue I noticed with the audio, but nothing big overall. The audio is crisp. It's just really crisp. And because this is one of the few games with huge open areas all the time, you get to hear like the double echo of the sniper rifle. When you yes. shoot it, you hear it crack. And then a, cool, yeah. a moment later, it's like, and it comes back. And you're like, whoa, that's <laughs> awesome. The tail end of all those weapons, the needler, of course, best weapon ever fight me. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Needler. I don't know why. I just love the it. Pinpoint needler. You know, you're right. Right. Dying from it because I think I'm safe and they're stuck to the back of my head. And I'm like, <laughs> and they're I'm like oh. yeah, I yeah. put it on legendary and played it. I thought that was pretty much right. I think it skews easy um, a little bit in this one versus the other titles. I think that it skews on normal difficulty. Maybe it's because of the open and because of the your grapple. It skews just a little easier than I was expecting. So legendary seemed about right. Uh, it overall, man, it's, it's awesome. But one big issue with this game, and it's a huge issue is that in the original game, because of the Xbox's power, a lot of the locations were sparse because they didn't have the geometry building ability to put polygons mm -hmm. where a tree was. Well, this game is cluttered and driving a warthog anywhere, not on the road yeah. feels very messy yeah. and it feels less exploratory than I would have liked. And I get why they did it. And I get why it has to be that way because they want it to look special but that was actually sort of di disappointing to take that and get the warthog hung up on everything there were even ravines with almost it sounds really weird to complain but too many rocks mm -hmm. to like incorporate the gameplay i want to incorporate which was the halo going you know down a ravine and coming out over the top of it sometimes you were trying and you'd flip and you'd be like oh man that that didn't really really work right but i thought it was awesome and i will disagree but we'll wait until everybody's done with the campaign i um i thought the starting campaign was very weak i start uh, starting of the campaign was very weak because of the jump in time they didn't do a great job mm -hmm. you're just Explaining like wait who? things yeah yeah you're just like who's doing what now what and yeah. they jump and then at the end i'm just gonna go out there and say i i felt a bit let down by the end um mm. it's still a very good game and it's still very enjoyable, very enjoyable. And I'll play it again when co-op comes available. But uh, I, I was also disappointed in Infinite because we were all... So when they said the word Infinite, I thought Infinite... And they kept saying it's going to be a game that goes for years. I thought Infinite had to do with the world. Right. Like more and you know more locations drop. And then you're like, oh, wait, they're talking about the ship. Yeah. And I would... I, I It's be very interesting to see how they add these extra stories you know where they go because you were saying four people at the F every fo fob yeah makes sense that maybe some of those are retaken or you know something like that we'll have to see how they how they add in gameplay but overall it's a, a very very solid title i liked it more than two because two as a multiplayer fan i consider multiplayer sort of separate yeah i thought two as a campaign wasn't great the ending was revolting in that game so to me it's more like <laughs> one and three are pretty top tier infinities right there and the others and i i don't hate any of them i think you know three four three has their issues and the idea of not having halo master chief be playable in five was just like what are you guys smoking like that was just that was a <laughs> real mistake narratively but overall mm. they've they've latched back on to it it's it's great man the performance is good like it's what they needed didn't score as well as i'm sure microsoft had hoped though probably because Forza came out and blew the fucking doors off of everything. Yeah. Yeah. And the review bombing yeah. on certain, you know, sites. You certain know, sites, yeah. Some, it only takes one, right? Questionable dudes. Yeah, when you yeah. aggregate anything, it only takes once. But yeah. yeah, so overall, man, Microsoft, starting with Flight Sim, yeah. Forza, this, Microsoft has had a phenomenal, like a Psy Psychonauts? incredible year. Psychonauts, yeah, well, Psychonauts yeah. is on everything. This, this, but, this yeah, year but, has been the year. 
Yeah. Nobody yeah, ever mentions cool. Age of Empires. Um, <laughs> I did. I did. Oh, <laughs> I, I have time for it. <laughs> no, not in this podcast, but you're absolutely right. Age of Empires is a phenomenal RTS, too. Yeah. 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 No, you're right. You're right. Probably my most played game this year. I Oh, wow. So in this short amount of time, even? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Would you put the kids it's... to bed again? Were you like, <laughs> 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 I'm getting an idea of you as a dad right I'm now. <laughs> sleep. Go to sleep. I don't know what people think how it works here in my house. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, uh, Age of Empires 4 is absolutely my addiction. Ever since I got the review code, I can't stop playing that game. Um, I stayed up way too many Good. nights, way too long. I, I just love it. But that's, that's a German thing, right? Because the RTS genre is, is like really huge in Germany. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't say particularly. Um... It's kind of racist. It's, 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 it's not offensive, <laughs> right? <laughs> like Will Dominic. It's Controlling other people and sending them to their death is uh, sort of going to play anything, right? They're just like, yeah. dude, no. no, no. <laughs> Got, it. <laughs> Got it. Not sure I'm comfortable with Stereotyping. You like conquering nations, uh, don't you? <laughs> well, you might be talking yeah. about like, I mean, Asian countries loved um, StarCraft and stuff. You might be thinking yeah. along those lines, but I don't know if Age of Empires is bigger in, in Europe, I think is what you mean, versus just Germany. But yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, it would be new to me. <laughs> I mean, it's just so I heard you I really like this over there. Yeah, but, but the old games like the Settlers and stuff, you know. That, that's so, how about things, Wolfenstein? Yeah. Do you like Wolfenstein? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Completely <laughs> un uncomfortable as a discussion. So, you're going to go like, to the juggler, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, but I got to give you a compliment. You're as uh, close as uh, uh, I've ever heard any American pronoun to pronounce it properly because most uh, Americans pronounce Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein uh, actually something like Wolfenstein. Or Wolfenstein yeah, Wolfenstein. Or like Stein that. is one I hear a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Wolfenstein. Yeah, Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I mean, they won't give me a copy if I ask for it over here, though, like that. <laughs> Wolfenstein. <laughs> Wolfenstein. Oh Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein is actually the reason uh, why I had to make a new Xbox account about ten or eleven years ago, because. Um, you know, in Germany, the, the Wolfenstein games are censored, censored right? Because yeah. you're not allowed to um, depict, what's the English word for the, the Nazi symbol? The Schwarzstiger. Schwarzstiger. Yeah. Didn't they remove Hitler's yeah. mustache? Yeah. Yes. Him, like, yes, yeah. yeah. You're not allowed to depict him in <laughs> Dude, and that makes products. it more noticeable. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? If you change the color of my beanie, I'm suddenly not yeah. Eric. Like, what is that? <laughs> it's right there. It's like, why did you guys think that would work? <laughs> yeah. yeah, in Germany, wow. you're not allowed to use any of those Nazi symbols or yeah. uh, or Hitler in entertainment products. It's the same for movies and everything. Yeah, he and so um, all of they all always the remove that. <laughs> copyright! Copyright! DM! They put a DM over it. That would That's be mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and at the end of the 360 days, I, I changed my, my um, region to UK yeah. to buy it in the do store digitally in the original version. And I, they banned my account for that. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why I had to make a new one about 10, 11 you years ago. You slick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm playing the real version. No, you're not. Huh? <laughs> he tuned in. He turned his Xbox on. I can not turn the show. I see my yeah. Oh dear me. King, what do you think about uh, about Halo Infinite? What do you? What's your thoughts overall me? so far? Oh. The campaign. Me? Yes, King. Yes, yourself. Okay. Um, sorry, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> no problem. Uh, okay, so I, I've I've played every Halo. Yep. Right, and um, Bungie did a phenomenal job uh, in bringing that uh, whole dual analog uh, stuff yeah. to, to fruition. Uh, because you know, mainly on PC is what you play first person, you know, shooters on. And whenever they did come over the console, it was a little cumbersome in how they was executed. But these guys really nailed it. And you know, watching the documentary, you really understand <laughs> how they had to lock themselves in a room to really nail certain controls, and controls was the big feature, right? So now, you know, knowing that and playing uh Destiny, uh they really understand those controls. So for 343 to learn these controls uh, in this game in particular, because uh, their, their, their trilogy so far with the 
Halo uh, franchise, uh, they this one I really think they nailed the controls in such a manner that changes how I view them. No longer is it uh, they almost had the controls. This one, like uh, ACG was explaining, when I grapple around a corner, sometimes I, I'm grappling around a corner to slide around a corner to shoot. But at the same time, as I'm I, and I know where the enemies are because I already shot my ping out. It's it's more agile. This is the most agile that I'm able to be with the Master Chief. If that makes any sense, if if someone that hasn't played it yet, he's a a very uh lumbering dude. Like yeah. if you play the first three, he is he's a mobile tank. Okay. Yeah. So understand that now when, when he's fighting these uh the, the elites and the brutes or whoever he's fighting, he's a, a mobile tank. Now, what they did with five was they showed you the level of speed in which Spartans are supposed to move. So that first scene when they're coming in and they're coming down that mountain and they're running and it's boom. You're supposed to be this mobile tank that are moving like Iron Man now. Right, without thrust just flying in the sky. So now you have the agility factor, but I don't really think it transcended so well there. Here it does. And for the simple fact they did one thing that changed how I viewed the game, no fall damage. Yep. Wherever you fall from, yeah. you can land perfectly. It's no problem. Right, because I, I kept trying to throw the grapple and hook right before I land. You know, I'm thinking yeah. I'm doing something slick until one time I forgot and I hit the floor. I said, oh, nothing happened. Right, so <laughs> I think that's a product of the engine. Now, there's other issues that I have with the engine. Carrick brought it up. Uh, the density of the forest. I would think if I'm running through with a warthog at full thrust, pause. If I hit a tree, I can knock it down. There's no destruction damage to said environment right um in the manner that i would like it to be so i don't think the the slipstream engine uh allows that of yet right maybe that's a, a product of being tethered to the older systems and not fully utilizing the series s and x yeah uh to their own capabilities right so story wise the way they started my biggest question was who the hell slump chief you have this tank of a human, this unbreakable, unrelenting force that we know Master Chief to be floating in space. Who the hell put my man in space? <laughs> so, off the rip, they got exactly to who put him in space. Oh, so where Carrick saw certain things, I wasn't really looking for it as that. They answered a question that I had. Oh, going gotcha. In Answer, yeah. Right off the rip. I was like, thank you. All right, so now that we got past that, and then I was all drawn in to the dramatic factor of that scene, how it played out. Looked beautiful when it was doing it. Now, we all saw Buddy Cop uh, on the Microsoft uh, stage. We all saw certain things to it. So um, I'm desensitized to that part because I already lived part of that story through the cutscenes that they uh, divulged to us earlier on. Right. So when we did get to the planet and, you know, we did use a uh, buddy cop or whatever to get there, the open worldness of it. And I didn't before I even got to that, that part, the, the spaces that they allowed me to play in and how they uh, mitigated stuff to me in the beginning. It was a tutorial getting through it, seeing things as fobs and stuff. So anybody that's new to the series is not going to feel like, oh, I've never played the rest of them. So. You know, I'm going to be lost. No, actually, it holds your hand in the beginning. The tutorial works well with you. And then when you get to a certain scene, they just take off the rails until you go do your thing. Right? Just go have fun. And you can go to it how you want. You don't have to level up anything to be Master Chief. You can go play <laughs> crazy if you want. Or you can go uh, finding every little piece of stuff in the world to level up. And that's what I do. I'm a completionist, right? Mm, so yeah. I really love the game. I'm going to do everything but the main story. I'm going to clear out the whole map but the main story. Then I'm going to get to the main story, which I am at now. I'm at the last uh, Spire or whatever. And uh, the reason why I like this story <clears throat> is because they're showing a human side, the chief. Now, I don't really care for Buddy Cop. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care for Buddy Cop, but I understand he has to show 
uh, the duality in humanity, right? You have to show the strength and the weakness of man. You're supposed to show the, the how fragile a psyche can be uh, in different circumstances, how one was brought up in certain in fire, raised in fire, born to be a warrior, and somebody did something uh, to to get to a space out of necessity. So you can see their philosophies clash, but you understand why they've done they've done this. So you can see it, and then there's this AI that we already know he had an issue with the other AI and what's going on with that and what's what's this AI about? So there's a story uh, wrapped around that part right there that I'm trying to figure out uh, because I didn't get to the certain scenes yet at the end, which I'm pretty sure they're going to answer certain stuff. But I'm loving the ride. Now, uh, the past uh, Halos, when Katana goes mad, I cried. Because, you know, it, it kind of broke up the team. It broke up what he was protecting for so long. Yeah. And they, they hawking into that here. The sound mm -hmm. design is so amazing. I'm I'm having my 800 rigs on, and I'm, I'm playing with just that sound turned up, the lights off, and, uh, and you hear the echoes. Yeah. And it took me back to Senua Saga. Like, what? Yeah. And, and I'm looking... Because the audio cues give you a visual cue and you can see exactly where the scene is leading you and you get a chance to see the visualization of it. The lighting is spot on. And I'm looking at the world and I know now why they didn't release the ray tracing in this uh, game right now. Yeah. The whole plan is made of damn near metal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's shiny and reflective. If they release ray tracing, this thing will be moving at 10 frames per second. Yeah. <laughs> so... Not right now, guys. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe it come later. But the artwork and the way they took... They, I'm, I'm so happy for 343. A game, if a game really needed time, yeah. this was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm glad Craig came out. I'm glad they had a chance to breathe. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, it, you know, sometimes a, a curse is a blessing, right? Oh, for sure. And it, let's say it did launch and it wasn't completely right and all this other stuff. I'm not even talking about the multiplayer. The multiplayer is a beast, yeah. an incredible beast. But this campaign has so many facets to it. And the fact that the world is as open and expensive, and I understand you said it's sparse in some areas. Uh, I understand it, the verticality isn't as nuts. You know, uh, it's dense in certain areas so i can put up with it being sparse because you can go sometimes you can walk the desert and don't find people but you know people live there so it's it's kind of like a real world it's yeah. breathing you hear it it's alive um I, I love what they're doing i i me personally i feel that this is the best halo in form of scope in how they're uh, teaching you the world, because I think this is the first time that Master Chief moves how they intended it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the grapple hook, and then all the other weapons that you have, <coughs> excuse me, abilities that you have for him enhances the gameplay. Some people may never use the grapple shot and use the thruster, you know, um, and they, they'll get around that way or use the shield. So it really caters to who you become as chief opposed to how they want you to play as chief. So I, I think that the only reason why I feel that this one probably stands tallest is because it allows you to be and play how you choose yeah. opposed to the linear way of all the other halos where you know Carrick even explained it must have been uh catered to uh co-op because in a lot of places you can get to the same objective by going to different ways right so it's not one single way of getting to a certain objective in, in a closed structure right so it's just it's little things like that that make me say wow because if i do play it again i don't have to go left this time i can go yeah. right i can see what's exactly. down this whole way so it's it gets it gets a high the highest rating that I can give it 
and and not just because it's three four three redemption story, so to say. People will say that I didn't think five was bad. I thought five was good. I love four. So um, I just think three four three finally hit on all cylinders with this and the multiplayer. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's a good summary. Very good summary. Uh, Vin, you've you've obviously put some time into the uh, the campaign so far. What's your thoughts on it? I I completely agree with the rest here. So I'm just not as far as you guys, I think. Uh, I'm a bit at the same point as Shamblon is after that scene. I did maybe one or two missions more, maybe. And then I was like, okay, I need to do all the side stuff first before <laughs> continuing, before I, I can't do it anymore. And now I'm loving it. I'm, I'm, I'm really loving it. So I'm, I'm just... Flying around in my wasp now from thing to thing, you know, doing the side stuff. And if I have if I've got that complete, I will continue uh, the missions. Because I I I have the same feeling as Shamblon, you know. I have this feeling that I can't go back at some point. Yeah. So there is there is a there is a point of no I, return at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So I I, I don't want to spoil the, the the rest of the world by it. So I I'm. Now just you know catching the fobs, the uh, rescuing the um, UNSC. Uh, uh, how you say that squads? Yeah. And killing the leaders. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just doing that, upgrading the chief and stuff like that. So, but I'm, I'm loving it so far. I'm I had a different uh, view at the start as uh, ACG and uh, S, but I I really loved it, man. It's it, it grabbed me from the first second. So. I, I, I'm really, really, really loving it. I, I think it's the, the best Halo in years. Multiplayer, you know, separately is is is, yeah. is by far the best. And campaign is is close or maybe even to my my, my favorite. It's Halo Three. Yeah. So, but there's just some, some you know minor things, you know, like I, I wish they would have put the trees like uh, in Forza Horizon. You know, if, if if I come with my Scorpion tank, you know, <laughs> I, at least let me drive over the tree. Come on, man! Is the tree is like this big? Come on, L let me let me kill it. You know, let me yeah. destroy the tree. Yeah. That, that, that's that's the only issue I had. You know, that it's it's not just the war talk or stuff. You know, I, I I get that you get stuck with that. You know, but if you drive fucking Scorpion tank, yeah, to a, a tree that's like. You know, twenty centimeters wide and uh, one meter tall. Come on, man, <laughs> let me crush it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's the only thing enough. I had. You know, but but I wish I wish they borrowed that from uh, playground games. You know, the the tree mechanics. Awesome stuff. But it's, yeah. Overall, I, I'm loving I'm yeah. I'm loving Halo. Yeah, I'm awesome loving it. Stuff. Awesome stuff. Patio, what about you, brother? What's your thoughts yeah. on Halo Infinite so far? It, like I said in the beginning, it's it's. It's amazing. I've been blown away from the first second I've been playing it. Um, I cannot tell if I have a favorite because I didn't play the previous ones. Yeah, Ooh. I played a bit. I played a bit. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. I, I played a bit of it, but it's it it was not that much that I can say, hey, this is my favorite game, uh, my favorite Halo game. But so far, uh, Halo Infinite is is just yeah for me. If if I need to rate it, uh, it's a ten out of ten for me. Uh, like the the cutscenes with the headset on, it's it's just you're like all in into it. You know, like you, you cannot stop uh, watching it and see every detail what they have. Because I took one screenshot um, that you see the what? reflection of. No, not one, but there's one <laughs> specific screenshot that I oh. took. Is is that the one that you uh, with the 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 character that you have, the the small female uh, character, and, and you see the reflection in his helmet in the glass, and it it's man, it's just perfect. They're like, I am enjoying it uh, a lot. Uh, I cannot stop like uh, uh, going uh, into the, uh, you know, like. Like you guys said, with the with the grapple hook, uh, I, I think I've played like two missions, and the rest of the time I'm just like flying around and driving around the world, explore things, and yeah, it's it's just a, it's it's a blast. 
and well, especially I, the the multiplayer is uh, is insane. Are, are you gonna play the Master Chief Collection? All, all the previous. I, I started it. I started it before uh, before uh, the uh, the multiplayer came out. But as soon as Infinite came out, I just started Infinite, and I totally forgot about my, the uh, Master Chief Collection. So. I will say one thing though: it's actually it's so hard to go back to the previous games after you've played how the new one feels, because the new one feels so much better than the old games. Like the gameplay, yeah, the way yeah, yeah. that the mechanics, the way it handles. Like the the old ones are, are quite cumbersome to play now, and I tried it. I really did try it. Mm-hmm. During the flighting of of the multiplayer, and the flighting stopped, and I was like, yes, I need I need a Halo fix." So I went back into Master Chief Collection, tried to play on Halo Three online, and it just felt rubbish. It just felt so bad. I was like, I, "No, I can't do this. I had to put it down." I was like, "It just doesn't feel good." Uh, it's no. yeah, it's it's insane the difference. It, and I don't think I could could I could Dude. go back and play them now. That's what I, that's what I'm and- talking about. They nailed. The feel, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's feel, and it's, it's, it's. You can't put your finger on it quite because your your memory tells you this is how Halo always felt until you go back and play it. <laughs> yeah, until you go back and play it, and then it's like, nope, no, nope, it doesn't feel good yeah. anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, but but I, can one, you, I can still help you, Pat, if you want. If you want to play yeah, co op, I, I will still. We help can you. check. We can check. But there, there's also one thing that uh, I need to get used to is like the uh, driving the vehicles because you need to use the, <laughs> the left and the right it. stick. Yeah. And it's, yeah, yeah. So uh, I need to get used to this because with the big tank, sometimes I'm just like <laughs> standing on the rocks like this, you know, and it's, it's just crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game for every minute. So uh, yeah, I, I cannot wait to... To explore more, uh, play more missions, and uh, see w- see what's going on. Uh, now, one of the now, best parts now you have it. your drive. Uh, now you have your driver's yeah. license, so you should be able yeah, to man, drive but... him. <laughs> one of the best parts about this, and I want to see what what people think when they beat it. Is one of the things I loved is the main bad guy you're after. Agent Every Agent. time you kick his ass, he's like, <laughs> "I knew that was going to happen." And I said it in the review. It's like every single time you take over an FOB, FOB, he shows up and he's like, ha, ha, ha. It was all a trick. I knew that was going to. And then he goes off again. And then you take the other one. He's like, they, these weren't my best warriors. And you're, I, I was saying in the review, I'm like, at some point, if you were on his team, you'd be like, bitch, I am not going out there. Kill everybody. <laughs> of course I'm not going out there. And every time the dude's like, something's going to happen. And you're like, yeah, when? Yeah. And he's like, at some point. And you're all, now? It's like a space ball skit. Yeah, it's like, yeah happening now is happening now when just now and you're like dude seriously <laughs> you're a jackass like it was so funny but one thing i was going to add was the best part of this game to me it added a huge amount of playability were the bounties were the uh yeah for the mini bosses oh dude, yeah, yeah i actually liked those guys like there were times where i don't want to there was some that are in groups some blah blah yeah. blah but you just you'd randomly encounter something. They'd be like, you know, and it was there was a lot of humor in the grunts conversation as well. But <laughs> yeah. there was also it, it, humor yeah, yeah. in theirs. And so there's this weird offset humor that is way higher than the po- the past games. But I think it works because like you'll come up on a grunt who has like this long audacious name, and you find out that he's basically taken over just by tricking everybody else and you have to take him out and he's just a grunt with a big gun. And you're like, this is awesome. Like that's not what I expected. And the, and it makes them, it makes the world feel a little bit more lived in where there's a little bit of a past they've taken Mm -hmm. over. And then I got to hand it to them. They changed the Marines, the sorry ass, Eyeline wearing emo Marines from the old games are gone (laughs) where they're like, instead these guys, like, let's kick some ass and yeah. you're like finally dude yeah, what yeah. is <laughs> you play the other other games and they're like you know i'm gonna do the end of the world i just will just sit here and let the warthog flip over me and you're like dude seriously <laughs> yeah, but- i'm seven foot six and i weigh a thousand pounds i'm on your team and i got here by defeating everybody at some point aren't you gonna think i could save you yeah. but in this one man they're like the they'll change. say they've got one liners oh. about like kicking ass and you know i like I'll tell- that it felt i'll tell you felt right 
I'll tell you all your war talk from the FOB and it falls on their heads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I did that. They just stand, they just stand <laughs> there, just yeah, looking at you, like, glaring at you like you're some god. <laughs> so they're just like, oh, it's the Master Chief. And then they just don't move when you yeah. pull a skull. Oh, the <laughs> smash him. And then you drop a Warthog on him. That's how I knew it was Halo. Even in my preview, I was like, you don't know if it's Halo. And then you drop that Warthog on me. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's Halo. Because the Yo. AI in Halo is so good and bad at the same time. It's, it's When it's good... Yeah. It's yeah. it's fucking tr it's transparent. It is really good AI. There's a reason why GDCs have entire videos just about the AI in Halo. But when it's bad, and it's usually <laughs> your guys, you're just like, dude, move! And instead, they leap under the car, and you're yeah. like, I'm not waiting. <laughs> Boom! And and I'll, it's like an yeah, insurance claim like, with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a Russian you know. dash cam. <laughs> Like a Russian yeah. dash cam, and yeah. the guy leaps on top of the car. <laughs> he saw that when he stopped his car. Yeah. The guy comes and the guy just leaps onto it later. You're just he like, what are you guys home. doing? But admittedly, the bounties, all that stuff, that helps offset any of the other little issues. Let Those me bounties give you a great. quick cheat. Uh, you call yourself the the new Warhog, the, the variant, uh, and then you go over to the fabrication machine, take out a bunch of snipers, and hand it to all the Marines. <laughs> Oh and yeah, give one marine a rocket launcher. That's awesome. That's and awesome. just drive around taking out all the fobs. <laughs> yeah. The variants were cool on the vehicles. When you unlock yes. the new variants, they're the one with the five guys in back or whatever. It's like you awesome. realize. By the way, guys, did you guys notice that you can't get as many people on the Scorpion? Oh no, you're going yeah. crazy. No, no you should be able to sit on the side. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. It Nobody, it's gone. I, I tried yeah. for hours when I was reviewing it, going, Am I doing something wrong? You know, back no. and forth, back and forth. And they just, <laughs> no, it's just Ooh, you and the gunner. Yeah. You, and the, you and the gunner. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Weird. <laughs> yeah. so I, I absolutely loved it. Like, I've got, uh, I've played through the main campaign, 94% completion of the map. I, um, uh, I did, just did it on normal just to get through it. Um, going to do legendary co-op run when co-op's out because i'm not going to do legendary twice i'm going to do it once with all the skulls yep. on to get the achievement and that's like i yeah. am not doing legendary run twice no chance um but <laughs> yeah in terms of the actual game itself like you mentioned it's the gameplay it's the moment to moment and they absolutely nailed that um yeah i did love the story again the ending seems like a marmite ending some people hate it some people love it i like the ending um when people oh, get did you it, yeah I like the way it re it, it didn't like you said it didn't completely resolve everything. Um obviously when you watch past the credits, um you've got that yeah. that little section uh, that gives a bit more explanation. Is it I'm, gone. Uh, I'm gone, I'm gone. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they've always got a post credit. Thing. Yeah, they've always got <clears> post credit. So make I mean the credits on this thing are long, by the way. <laughs> like thirty minutes. Thirty five minutes I heard or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah it's 30 about minutes, thirty yeah. minutes long. Yeah, they're ridiculous, yeah. Yeah. Um but yeah, once you get that gives a little bit more to the future of where this with the way this is going. But I liked it, yeah, I did like it. Um but the moment to moment gameplay was awesome. I just like the attention to detail in the world. Like aside from the destruction issues, like you mentioned, King, um, where you, you can't do some of the basic things you'd expect, like a tank going through a tree or being able to easily overcome a couple of rocks. Um, but other than that, the attention to detail in, in random places, you'd never think they'd put detail. Like I said, I, I would use a wasp to get to the yeah. highest point of a map and there would be a little in, like an encampment yeah. of, of brutes and things just sitting there chatting between themselves. Like if I see Master Chief, I'm going to kick his ass. And then you speak, and then yeah. you see them yeah, and they're yeah. like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like when they kill you. And they the random oh, stuff that they dude, say. it's awesome. <laughs> Give me his helmet. I want to eat it. Exactly. The one guy's like, I can't remember his name's like Enoch or something, but he's like, Enoch gets the bonus or what? Like, they're, 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 it's almost like multiplayer. Like, it's almost like their version of whatever that groin drop on your face is. Yeah. That, it, that, it was so. It, it it's adds, a tea bag. Tea bag, thank you. It adds this feeling of like uh, just a little bit of narrative to it that wasn't there prior. And again because the Marines are positive and yeah. because the covenant ran the place. And so they're very like egotistical. It, yeah. it plays off way better than prior halos. It, oh, yeah. Like I thought, I thought they did a great, that side almost like really tangential storytelling was, was well done. Very yeah. well done. Listening to all the audio clips. That's what I was too, just about to mention. The audio logs are, are yeah. awesome. 
Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, but also the radio towers, man. That's funny as hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the <laughs> propaganda <laughs> tower. That propaganda, yeah. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. you guys. I got very nervous the first time I hit a propaganda tower because I was like, that feels like Far Cry. Please don't make me go yeah, from like propaganda final. tower to pro and spray paint my name or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, yeah. but I was actually when I was reviewing it, and I was playing it. You know, you can't talk to anybody, and right. I was sitting there going like, "Oh no, is that <laughs> what this is going to turn into?" Didn't it at all, which is no, no, yeah. it's totally hilarious. It's just like a little it, comedy it, section. It's just a brute like saying yeah, random yeah, the, the shit. The <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> That's so yeah, good. the one that he goes starts going on about um, what is it? The, all the you know the the most wanted that you take out, mm -hmm. and the leaders and this stuff. They're going, oh yeah, they're, they're on holiday. Really we need other people to, co to come in while they're, they're on <laughs> yeah. holiday somewhere else. <laughs> and you also notice they'll talk about like they'll lie and they'll be like, we can hear everything you're saying. We have <laughs> your comms or blah blah blah. Or we've killed all your people. They're crying and they're asking for. It's almost like Vietnam if you ever listen. Yeah. To the fact that, you know what I mean? Where like propaganda was dropped. That's yeah. that's actually now that I think about that is what it reminds me of. It's like propaganda that that funny weird wartime yeah, yeah. propaganda where like we would drop pictures of giant cocks because yeah. the story was that's what we had like it was weird you're just like why and you got this little grunt like we've killed all your people we can hear everything you're saying you might as well give up and you're just like what yeah. <laughs> works so well man yeah. i fucking love it man. i like the uh, you're right about the audio logs i hadn't thought about that the idea that somebody's dying and they hold their zoom up and they record their death <laughs> instead of saving themselves always bothers me they're like instead do a voice. of saving myself i want to tell you about my daughter and you're like why <laughs> but they did a pretty good job here and when you found i don't want to say anything yeah. about what you find but you find things Real and you stuff. hear more stuff about yeah. their past too yeah and there's one cutscene where you find out something that happened in the 10 months between five and that i don't know if that was already known by everybody but you find out some of the war events that have happened and mm -hmm. what one group did to another and i was doing that thing where i was listening but sort of off to the side where i just sort of like said and i was like wait what did what did they do and you yeah. hear what, what they did and i was like whoa that's dark like that it's very dark but it may not come up. i think some people will miss that by the way because it does try to gather halo wars 2 and take that story and everything i yeah. think some people are going to miss just how if you listen to that starting you understand some of what they're saying there is some darkness in that story yeah. and, and and that might not be translated as well once you start playing the game, mm -hmm. I, I I think I know which one you mean. It's it's in one of the big uh, bases. Yep, yep. Yeah. It, and and what they did to it, and I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Whoa, yeah. what? Yeah. The you know, it was super dark. Like, yeah. And we know Halo's always been dark, but I think they've been grim dark, emo dark. You know, they're dark. It's like, mm -hmm. look at us, we're Warhammer forty thousand, but not. And you're like, eh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but in this, this one, that one, side yeah. story of like it's almost like listing off bases in a war yeah. and you you read one big one and everybody's like whoa what happened and i was yeah. just like that was cool and i i think they did a really good job there and i'm i actually believe even though i didn't like the starting and ending as much i do feel that they set it up so that they can move forward without the shackles of bungie's old stories yes. does that make sense it feels like they were like okay it's not a reset where you're like everything's different it's where that part is sort of solidified into a narrow storyline. You know where we're going, and now they can do what they want, especially because we find out about other stuff, you know, in the yeah. world. Is, 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 is that the work of Jason Statham then? Or what's his name? The... Jason Statham, the martial artist? No. Yeah. Oh, you mean Statham? Oh, you mean Statham? I was like, what? Jason Statham. Jason Statham shows up. He's like, I'm the master chief, bitches. <laughs> I was totally playing into that for a second, too. I was like, did I miss something? What, what's his name? What's his name? Yeah, Joseph. Adam. Joseph. 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 Yes. T-A-T-T-U-M, I think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. He is one of the major writers, though, and I know the primary writer left um, after a couple months of Jason being there. So He, he did a lot of great work to fix yeah. a lot of things, and he pulled a lot of coattails to, to explain the stuff that was not working. Yeah. yeah. You know, so... I mean, listen, shout out to everybody that could take direction uh, and, and, and don't have <laughs> that much hubris inside of ego. Room, you yeah. know, because a lot of times, you know, when they bring in your success or they bring in somebody, you may feel your ego may block that, right? Um, I, I, I just, I don't know. It's, I, I, and I, it has to be after watching this documentary uh, and, and noticing how a lot of the heads move around in Microsoft 
but and I, I don't care what anybody says. You can you can you can play the <laughs> company line and say, "Oh, I, I I cheer for my 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 um my teammate, right?" Uh, but when you're the lead quarterback and your backup takes your spot, sometimes it's, it's a little backbiting. Is a feel you you feel like you know, oh man, you don't want to cheer that guy on. But what I've noticed is it's like real support in certain areas and. For Joseph to come up and the Bonnie be there, you know, and all eyes is going to look at Bonnie at that point in time and for it to turn out how it did and still the level of support across the board for both. I, I think that's incredible. I, I'm, I'm sorry if, uh, you know, some people may say, oh, but she has to, you know, toe the company line. I think it takes a lot of um, self-confidence in order to listen, to hear. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and and they did, and 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 it, and it paid off in the end, regardless to what you're looking at that product because that product is going to be your legacy. Because if it's bad, your thumbprint is on it, you know. But if it's good, you know, your thumbprint is on it as well. So, you know, it, it's just, I'm I'm just happy. I'm just really happy for them that they really landed this plane. Yeah. Now I know everybody's like, oh, co-op is not there. Man, shut up. I wasn't playing with nobody anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it is it, obviously we'll all and, and no doubt that the the relieving part is that the campaign is good enough for everybody to go. Yeah, actually, I'll I'll, I'll go back and play it as co op because it was a good campaign. Yeah, like whether or not you you like yeah, can, you really wait. like the start yeah, or or weren't sure on the ending. The the meat of the campaign and the game itself is justified Decent. going back and replaying it. Yeah, um, which is absolutely yeah. awesome. Um. Oh <laughs> yes, <Beautiful>. the music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but the music was awesome. Of course, they didn't have the original composer on it. They had uh, three separate composers this time around, but they did a very good job at, at doing the 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 new soundtrack to the game now, um, which was was absolutely awesome and slightly reimagining the original um, soundtrack as well, which which had the same impact. Um, but that, no, absolutely awesome. I'm happy with it so far. Again, like I say, I've I've smashed it. I've ninety four percent on and everything. So I'm, uh, you get pretty much man, happy man, with man. it. Yep. Yeah. Um, do do you ever sleep? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're, yes. You're on every pod. You're on every podcast. <laughs> you have every. Case <laughs> How are you doing that? <laughs> No, no, it's I definitely ancient see. Chinese secret. Huh? Yes, <laughs> oh, <I get> it. <laughs> uh, we'll be getting into our next big topic, though, and that is to discuss the games that came out the back, or at least the game trailers that came out the back of the uh, Game Awards uh, the yes. uh, last week, and of course, the Game Awards itself um, actually produced some surprises uh, and some awesome segments. Uh, I want to just go around and, and kind of um, ask. What people's kind of highlight game that was shown off at the Game Awards was. We'll start with our guests first and foremost. ACG, what was your your highlight? Your your the biggest game that that really surprised you at, at Game Awards? <clears throat> Nightingale. 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 I would have oh, said night. I would have said Plague Tale. Plague Tale Two because dude, Plague Tale is just. Oh man, yeah. That game is primo. Definitely. But I'm a big Greedfall fan, double A RPGs mm. that are crunchy and fall apart a little bit, but are still awesome. And <laughs> I I dig I dig big hot chicks with hats. And she showed up <laughs> like the, she showed up, she's got her flintlock, blunderbuss, whatever, huge friggin' like you know, I don't know, 1700s hat, and just starts blowing away, you know, weird fantasy creatures. And I'm like, dude, that's for me. Like it's so for me, I can't it. It, I finally get it when somebody says a game's for them because mm -hmm. I usually am not like that. But I found out with Greedfall, I sort of dig this weird Renaissance yeah. look, but also fantasy with it. I'm like, damn, man, I never thought I'd like that. Which I guess Bloodborne, a lot of people like Bloodborne because yeah. it looks different, right? Yeah. And dude, Greedfall came, or I mean, sorry, not Greed, there we go, Greedfall. But Nightingale came up and I was just like, that's probably the one that I was like, Whoa. you know, people said, oh, was it Star Wars? Was it this? Was it that? You know, it, Eclipse looked. Like, I mean, I the trailer looked awesome, but you yeah. don't know what's going on there. Yeah, but yeah, Nightingale, man. I'm a big double A 
B game fan, dude. I like the little chunky companies that are like, <laughs> let's try. It may not work right. Yeah. You know, they'll put some mechanic in. You'll be like, eh, but it doesn't matter because they've got all these other weird things going on. And so, yeah, night, Nightingale for sure. Awesome. awesome. I love that that Greedfall is finally getting some love on this show here. Uh, <laughs> Greedfall was awesome. <laughs> Dude, Greedfall, man, I'll like I'll die on that sword. I th I think yeah. Greed Greedfall is exactly the double A alpha protocol, which is an older shooter. Like all those there's some double A games that are just they have this heart to them. And yeah. I don't mean heart because I don't want to pretend having B or double A in front of your name makes you a good person because it doesn't. Yeah. I met some shit indies. And I made some admit some awesome AAA devs. So like, it doesn't matter what you, you'll hear that a lot. People like to hate, you know, the big stuff, but um, there's something about them. Elix. I like Elix, even though the Elix is a trash, it's just trash, but it's fun it trash. <laughs> it's like, it's fun to kick around some trash. I love Elix, man. I'm just stupid, a fan of Elix. You said and, I and like to slum it every now I and do. I do. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Five bucks in my pocket. Questionable alley. Uh, you might find Tarek there. <laughs> Hit a penicillin shot at the same time. Doesn't matter. I, 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 I'm all, I'm, sunshine. Yeah, hey, you know what? <laughs> Everybody gets their pleasure in a different way. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh that's God. awesome. That's awesome. King. <laughs> that's it. King, that's what candy. was your what was your standout of the of the uh of the game awards trailers then? Arc Raiders. Arc yeah. Raiders. Oh yeah. Let me tell you. And, and I had to watch it at least five times because when they started running through the mech's legs, I said, what? Look at the scale of this. I said, the scale of, I said, can I climb it? Pause. Um, <laughs> and they like the, it's, 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 it's running off the, the engine, um, of division two. Snow, uh, is that snowdrop or snowdrop? Yeah. The snowdrop it's, it's like division two uh no no they said it's like division two and i'm just like looking at the verticality and, and all that in division two and like i'm taking my brain there and i'm like it looks like a war of the worlds and it, 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 at night the 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 luminescence like they they're using the lights to find people and then when they do find you if it's like a stealth mission uh all these other robots start to come out so I just I just can't wait to see what it's about. That's the one that intrigued me the most. Senuous uh to Hellblade 2. Mm, yeah. Graphically did what I asked. That right? Was, the first time I yeah, saw yeah. the trailer, they said in game engine. Uh, we we hear that all the time that we get it. Like, That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> right? So they showed this. I can see the difference. Now, if you go back and watch the, the, the original trailer, characters are bigger. Uh, some of the fog is denser. The world is set up in a way, and that's not representative of gameplay. Yeah. Now, this is representative of gameplay, yeah. right? This this is, and, and, and I challenge anyone to go back. Yeah, the fidelity on the first trailer, is it's higher. It is. It, it literally is. But this uh, it's a, it's got some music, right? Also, yeah. Well, yeah. In, in the music, yeah, yes, it's, yes, it's five. It's this music, right? It, it's built to it. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly, it's built yeah. to catch your attention. Yeah, this is actual gameplay, right? Now, this is yeah, has, yeah, yeah. this this has to catch your attention in another way and has to give you entertainment. This is an entertainment factor to it, right? So, as they're coming up against the big giant titan, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. <laughs> which is funny because they're like, all right, now that he climbs out the water, the giant baby goes into the mountain. And if you know mythology and stuff, the Titans were part of the mountains. So he gets into the mountain and he's actually going to sleep to heal himself. And then they throw the, oh. the, the Molotov or juice on him and try to set him on fire. But then a guy comes running out on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what? the hell and then i'm looking at the smoke trail on the guy and i looked at him moving like ah this is what i want to see yeah this is this is this is what i want to see from this 12 teraflop machine this is what i want to see 
I want to see the facial uh, animations. I I, I want to see next gen. This is this is and this is what it showed me. A lot of people were pissed off with the fact that uh, they were using spears. They weren't using spears in the first one. It was just using that sword. So right now you have another weapon that you're going to be able to use. So you already know that the sword is a given. Now you got a spear. And what other uh, uh, mechanics that you're going to use in this game? You see um, a group mechanic because apparently she's supposed to um, be in charge of this group. How did yeah. she get to this part? What's going on? So they show me what I wanted to see graphically. The game I'm most impressed with, besides that one, I just, you know, you come to the car show, you want to see if it has a V12. Okay, you got a V12. I'm good. <laughs> All right. But then while you're at the car show, what you want to drive around? Like, let me see that new Escalade because I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to trade my truck in. And Arc Riders pops up. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. True. The possibilities to this thing is like Destiny mixed with Division. And, what was going on here? And the War of the World feel that game definitely War of the World is what I want. I, I, and, I, and I want to lose myself in it. I, I want it to be so good that I'm, I, I'm able to do like I'm doing with Destiny and just lose myself in the game and just look up like a month later, like what happened. So, yeah, that's what I'm forward to. Oh, awesome. Was it you feel sorry for the giant? No, not at all. It was a robot. <laughs> oh, the way he... about the giant in, in... yeah in Hellblade in Hellblade right I mean <laughs> he, he came up on that beach and I was like he, he's not he's not intending to attack anybody who hell no he was eating them like no <laughs> he wasn't he, no he okay. wasn't so you know uh, about he got attacked. you know about the giants in history they were eating cannibals people. they were cannibals this is, so he they had to go take him out you know, the little guy has to get rid of his big I mean, bag. you don't wait until he eats your friend and go, that ah, checks out. Okay, he is yeah. as bad as we thought. Yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Take there he goes. The beast when he's wounded. Tom's gone. Yeah, okay, he did eat John. All right, sorry, John. <laughs> sorry, Bo. Sorry, Bo. We'll, we'll, we'll send you a card. All right, kill him. We were right. He is really <laughs> cannibal. <laughs> Troy's check out. The, the, the way he looks, right? It he just, did I look... Just... Okay, but remember, if you did you ever see the cartoon Beowulf, the anime yes. that was yeah. done? Yeah, oh, dude, it's yeah. actually really good. But one of the things they did with Grendel is they made him appear like sorrowful. That's yeah. that. I mean, and having that giant look that way, I think works. Because if you see a big bad giant, you're like, kill it, no big deal. Right. But if yeah. you see one where you're like, oh, it's man. almost like he's um physically. Yeah, except, I had that not challenged. Yes, I don't I know had. what the term would be. Malformed. Yeah, like, malformed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and so you're yeah. like. Oh man, so but he's I get what I, 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 yeah, I get what King's saying. No, I don't feel sorry because you got to take him out because he's a bad guy regardless. Right. But I get what you're also saying that when you see him, you're like, oh man, he doesn't look so hot. Yeah, like, I think he's, <laughs> he was already in a battle with them. He did. Yeah. I think so too because he actually looked like he was freshly hurt. But yeah, like wounded on his side, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But I, I felt. Kind Sorry for the giants. <laughs> uh, we'll see if you still yeah. feel sorry for him later when you get to that part in the story after you know, eat the village. Yeah, after he eats John, <laughs> yeah, right? just crunches yeah, through his torso. No. Like, All right, I'm not feeling sorry for him. <laughs> uh, uh, Boxer Burger. Dig through giant poop for his skull. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was your highlight of the show so far, Boxer? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, Hellblade obviously is, is stood out with the graphics, and uh, it's no secret it's one of my most anticipated games. But I gotta give it to a Blake's Tale. I I loved the first one. The first one was yeah. such a huge surprise to me. Um, the 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 story, everything. I still can't believe they made their own engine for that game. Yeah. When I booted that game up for the first time, I thought it is Unreal Engine. But then a, a no. little later, I learned that they actually made their own engine. You well, remember they also made. Flight sim, yeah, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a solo. They know that they know their way around graphics. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. Um, and but also from a storytelling uh perspective, um, yeah, the gameplay mechanics were sometimes a little bit repetitive, but given the budget and and the, the scale of the project, I absolutely loved it. And to see that game a little bit more in action with a lot more diverse environments and everything can't wait for it definitely stood out to me but there were a couple of others i was also excited to see suicide squad um oh, what, yeah. what's that about 
that really reminded me something like Sunset Overdrive meets I don't know uh, the the Arkham games, um, and definitely looked awesome. A lot of fun, I think. Um, and I still can't believe that this game is due to in, in 2022. And when they announced that earlier this year, I thought this is a 24, 2025 title. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's coming actually this year uh, or now, almost this year, the uh, next year in 2022. <laughs> so um, very good stuff. Um, yeah, there were a couple of, of, of good ones. Um, Star Wars Eclipse, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. Um, Oh man, it's the same all over again then. Pardon me? I, I no, didn't... no, no, no. Go, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> yeah. Uh Arc Raiders, um uh, Raiders are definitely um uh king. That that game looked fantastic. So yeah, it, it was actually a quite good quite the good show uh, when it comes to the announcements at least, yeah. Awesome. Sonic. Well, yes. I'll mention, I'll mention Sonic. Game? Actually, you know, yes, it is, you yes. know what it is. I, I, I really like the fact that this new Sonic is going into that that kind of more open world, uh, green hills. I love you, Drew. Area. I love you, Drew. Thank it, you. I'm glad they're going down that route, but also, um, I'm still questioning the the, the model that the views for Sonic himself like much like the first rendition no. of the movie version that they had <laughs> i'm not sure no, no, that it's, that it's, that is... it's adventure sonic uh i'm still yes, it is. still uh i think i think that maybe a few a few re re revisions on that one before release maybe make them look a smidge better but it, the style no, look, it's, the, it's, and what they're looking like to adventure do adventure one look yeah <laughs> oh i forgot one do? um yeah uh, cool. Yeah, I forgot uh, to mention Wonder Woman. Um, and even oh, though we yeah. didn't see anything, what I really thought uh, is awesome that that we are getting back the Nemesis system um, because I really like that in the Lords of the Rings games. Um, I thought it was a unique mechanic. We haven't seen something like that in, in many other games. Um, and so I'm glad that they are bringing that system back, hopefully iron, ironing out a little bit the bugs and everything. But um, that system definitely has a lot of potential and i love to see that come back in a game so yeah 100 they uh patented that system yeah yep. yeah it's the only way you're seeing that i didn't even know by the way this is the first i've heard of anything about nemesis and, and wonder woman but they're the only ones who can do it okay and and i gotta say man companies that patent game systems like that i want to just punch them in the balls <laughs> like nemesis oh, yeah. system could be used in f1 racing Yes. Mm -hmm. It could be used in fighting games of all kinds. Yep. And the idea of taking that mechanic, which is so growth oriented in how you could use it. I do believe that the Nemesis system was not as good as everybody else thought. I thought right. it bugged out a lot. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. It doesn't matter. It I still issues. saw what it had. Yes, right. That exactly. is an awesome system. Yeah. And dude, F1, you got your, you know, guys who dislike you, they show up on the podium, you know, you get in brawls yeah. like NASCAR, a <laughs> bunch of rednecks running around just going left. Like, that, <laughs> yeah, this kind of stuff would be awesome. And it's Absolutely. sad. So I'm glad you mentioned that Nemesis was in Wonder Woman. Sorry to take yeah. your time. So continue. But I'm no, no. really excited to hear that. I did not know that. I didn't know the, about the patent thing. Um, but I'm with yeah. you because the system wasn't perfect in the Shadow of War or Mortal games. But um, it has so much potential. Uh, and I was always wondering, why is nobody else picking it up? The idea is so great. You could do so many things with it in, in all types of genre. Yeah. Um, but that definitely explains it. So, yeah. Awesome. At least we are getting it in Wonder Woman now. Yep. Yep. Uh, I really like, uh, well, I like the fact that Alan Wake 2 is coming back, but I also like the fact that it's changing its direction mm. a little bit to survival horror as opposed to just this linear horror mode. I don't, it's obviously, yeah, see, you don't like that. And I can see why, because a lot of people are going to dislike this the survival horror aspect. Um whether or not it's it's going to retain. I know it's retaining the same characters again and the same actresses and actors, mm -hmm. uh, which is a good start. Um, we'll have to wait and see what they do um, with it and, and the direction it goes, but I am happy it's coming back and obviously also happy that it is uh, available to everybody to, to experience this time around. Obviously, it was a, I don't know whether or not MS just decided it wasn't worth keeping a hold of as, a, as an exclusive. Um, whether or not they had no remedy it, bought it remedy yeah. bought that 
Remedy Rem, Remedy, and right. Microsoft talked about it, and Microsoft said, let's do Quantum Break instead. Right. And then Remedy said, we'll do Quantum Break if we can have Remedy, if yeah. we can yeah. have Alan Wake. So, which I think is a perfect, I, dude, it, it, you might as well give it to everybody. Alan yeah. Wake is well worth being on all consoles. So. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with that and, and how it plays out. Yeah. How the story continues on. Um, Last it's definitely. Time on Alan Wake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> dude i love alan wake so much did i say that out loud? i did say yes, that out loud. Did. sorry i was just like thinking maybe i should play that today anyway continue so, <laughs> uh, uh, acg let me ask you a question real quick because uh you brought up that whole aspect of it um i'm opposed to that but again um a business deal is a business deal uh did they own do they own uh um quantum break outright microsoft does microsoft owns quantum yeah, yeah. microsoft took that and remedy and and i also believe exclusives are fine especially if you can't make it without an exclusive right. like i'll see people be like it'll be like dude the game would never have been made so right. i'm you know certain deals but yeah quantum break went to microsoft they own the rights to characters ip and then remedy got alan wake okay so they fought for the the original baby back yeah right? it was it was a little bit unknown. like how bungie worked with you know in 343 and halo like they right. all just got yeah. together and they were like even though there were some differences because i know that the rumor that i had heard was that people at remedy weren't necessarily happy with that choice but microsoft right. didn't feel alan wake had done as well right um and alan wake i don't know if you got another uh, thank you for mentioning documentary on halo because there's an alan wake documentary that also breaks some of this open and how remedy had planned that open world which by the way alan wake is open world if you're right. on the pc you can hack it and you can go everywhere in the world at any time it's a full open world game but they chopped <laughs> it up because it didn't work as well narratively right and so um I, like i think this is great i think put, put it on everything that's awesome but i don't think we'll see a quantum break too just so you know yeah. I, I think no. that's dead. i, don't think I, I really did. like the game i i, yeah, I thought it was too. okay i would love to see a sequel for yeah. sure and, and i oh, sort of like the tv show to be well see, we, we <laughs> need it. Come on, man. That, that was the aspect that i loved the most about it um during that they brought a whole studio they they did a whole big production about it uh it works well if you download the whole package to it yes, and watch right. the whole thing in its entirety. And I would have yeah. loved to have the interactive show that I can play the game and go back and stuff. The Agreed. real vision of, of the game, right? Yeah. But hearing it now, I understand how you can say the unknown. I will give you the unknown for my proven. And the proven was Alan Wake. Um, yeah. So, yeah, give me back my baby. You can take this unknown. And if you do something with it, you do. But I, I do hope they do revisit uh, Quantum Break at some point. You know? Yes, King. Yes. At some point. Yeah, you would hope so. Because it, is, <laughs> it was actually a really good game. Like, I actually really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, we did it. Um, of course, yeah. it, it all, wasn't like... Ge all the best IPs are being killed. Now, come on. <laughs> I mean, I'd still I don't, I don't think they're being killed. I would still want to rise because two before. The, I'd still want to rise so. two before Quantum Break any day. Yes, thank you, Drew. Thank you. <laughs> rise two. You said you would still want to rise. Rise two before. A rise, Quantum rise Break. two. Rise, I would kill for Rise two. A rise yeah. story yeah. is yeah. actually man. I have like broke that story down in podcasts where I'm like, dude, there's awesome. way more going on yep. in Rise's story than the original thing would. Have. But because of all the issues developed, that's where sometimes knowing uh, stuff is way worse. Yeah. yeah, It's like, because a lot of people went into it and were like, it used to be a connect game and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, yeah, but what is it now? Yeah. Like who can, I mean, yeah, many things, the car design, all kinds of vehicle designs, all these things change as they go forward. It's like, what are you driving for your 60 bucks is what should matter. And yeah. I guess some people didn't like Rise, but I thought I enjoyed the fuck I out of really it. Loved it. it. Was you a, you it don't want to funny really thing is game. about Rise. Uh, I, I don't know if I told that story, but <clears throat> when the Xbox One launched in Germany, you were not able to change your uh, uh, console setting to English, which is what I usually do because most games don't allow you to change the language from German to English. I play all my games in the original language. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to set your console to English and in the first dashboard from the Xbox One, you were not able to do that. And that meant I had to play Rise in German and the <laughs> Kinect, and the, the Kinect um, voice controls did not work at all. So I had to unplug <laughs> my, my Kinect. <laughs> 
in order oh, to play Rise without the Kinect uh, thing, because that was the only way how you could play it, and then it worked perfectly. That was an awesome experience without Kinect. So, hello, free spirit of allowed the world. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Nine, 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 nine. That's all I literally know is nine. <laughs> 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 Oh dear me, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's a game Please I like and subscribe to yeah. my video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was a great game, and uh, I, I was always saying, I, we, I was on, a, on another podcast, can't remember, but we, we talked a lot about um, the potential because you don't have to go back to, to Rome. Yeah, you could go to ancient Greece or oh, Egypt sure. or I don't know with, with, with that franchise. Um, yeah, so much potential there. Oh, what about Pat? Did we skip Pat? No, Pat hasn't been yet. What? No. In terms Pat, of I your think Pat uh, is up next. Yes, the the game the game trailers that came out of the Game Awards. <laughs> what's your what's your standout mm -hmm. so far? Well, to be honest, actually, I didn't watch anything. I sat I... here. I picked him out <laughs> to help him, so he got his chance, <laughs> and he has no answer. What do you make? No. Have, have you had a chance really? to watch? How he you? Have you had a chance to watch the likes of Hellblade, etc.? Then. Yeah, I've seen the Hellblade uh, uh, trailer. Um, yeah. yeah, it it like people also said on on Twitter because it, it's it looks amazing. I cannot wait to to try out that game. Well, it's more like a movie <laughs> for me, but yeah, it 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 looks ridiculous. Uh, it the the technology how far it is right now is is just insane. It's 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 crazy, but. Yeah, like I said, I, I didn't have that time uh, to to watch it. Uh, I'll I'll gonna watch it, that's for sure. But I see some clips of of Hailblade, uh, but that, uh, I think that's about it, man. Shameless self I, I, was... I have a video on my channel with all the trailers. Back, back. All right, all right. I'm gonna take a look. <laughs> I, I, I never, I, I never watched that. But there's just, just, it, just the trailers and none of the advertising. <laughs> And none of the and not me. I was like, who wants to hear me blab? It's literally just the trailers with the question, did any of these impress you? I was just like, let's just let people watch it and talk. Yeah, yeah. So if you I get a chance, should, check I it out. Because dude, do. Star Wars Eclipse, I think you'd like Pat. There's some pretty crazy stuff in yeah. there. This was a All great right. trailer year, I think, for the game awards. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, because also the game awards was like on a time that I'm oh, it was insane. asleep. Uh, right? I was, yeah, I was asleep. Yeah, so. it was, it, dude, it was late for me. <laughs> it, was, like, it was weird. It was really poorly. Like one, I woke up in the morning. Like AM. Just yeah. watch the trailers. <laughs> Don't it was watch one a.m. in the UK the and two a.m. Two, two start in in, uh, in yeah. the Netherlands. Oh, I finally see what in that is behind yeah. your head. Yes, <laughs> but it's actually Karate Kid snap kicking him. You just can't see the entire picture, unfortunately. Oh, okay, this was it. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> karate Kid is, is, is kicking Joe's? Yeah, Karate Kid is Oh, no, that's just my head getting bigger. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I found it online, and it's Karate Kid doing his crane kick to the, to the face of Jaws. Oh, wow. really... <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm no, but I'll definitely, to... I'll definitely oh, take a look oh, at oh, your oh, video. Oh. Uh... Yeah, man, check them out, because, dude, uh, you know, Game Awards, I'm not a big fan of overall, mm -hmm. and and I think the trailers were... were actually we're sitting through which i've this is the first year i've ever said that but yeah. there there are some good trailers some really cool yeah, yeah, indie, yeah. really cool double a and then you know eclipse and some triple a stuff i like that dancing uh no you don't game yes i do no, you... yes i freaking do the, and, the and fat let... teletubbies that aged i love them <laughs> i freaking love them. you know, you know so what gross. i love you, you know what i love most about that i love the vastness of the world I love when it scales up and you get a chance to look at the world. It, I'm sorry, I'm 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 a fool for uh, these open world things and and actually seeing how far the tech has come because I've been playing yeah. Pong from the beginning, right? right? So uh, we moved from two little lines and a ball to uh, these weird cherubs that's dancing on say, and I think that's some weird mechanic because they weren't doing that before; they were doing some other stuff before. Correct. Their trailer in the Game Awards sucked because yeah. somebody sent me the real trailer and was like, "Dude, that's not. That's not. That's just yeah, them that's dancing. Not a, Check yeah. the real trailer, and it's an open world that it's actually looks quite incredible. Good. Right. Graphically, it's it looks like, phenomenal. Yeah, it's like Pokemon 
on some giant open world stuff and you get a chance to float around and I, I think it looks phenomenal. And gotcha. um, I don't even know how big their team is, but that's one of the games I'm also looking out for, like when it actually hits. Uh, and it, it, I'm I'm a quirky dude like that. Like, and, and this is the reason why Game Pass appeals to me because I get a chance to, you know, ease my fix by jumping inside and checking out some weird stuff real quick. And if I happen to like it, you know, I go offline and that's what I'm doing. I'm playing some weird stuff and then I'll pop back online playing Halo. But um, <laughs> so you don't tease me. But go down my game list and you know how freaky I am. <laughs> King shame, king shame your your game list. <laughs> it's it's to, for them to see. Oh, that's, that's, that's what right. happened. You look at he my leaned game his list head forward, some... and I saw a Jaws, and I'm like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if, if you have a look at my if you have a look at my achievement history though i'm exactly the same there's some really random stuff down there some really random stuff yeah <laughs> but i try to hide it as quickly as possible by playing a load of other games I'm like yeah that's gone you can't see that no more you're gonna have to go looking for that <laughs> oh. vin what's uh what were your highlights of the trailer that you've seen from the game awards then well it's obviously the show of uh, number two Hellblade 2, a uh, play till 2, Re require require him, I think is pronounced. Uh, yeah, Hell yeah, Requiem. And Ellen Wake. Yeah, yeah Re Re Requiem or something. And Ellen Wake 2. Yeah. But here it comes. My absolute favorite was Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I love the trailer. I, I I don't know, man. It's it's like um you know Mario Odyssey on the Switch. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a bit going in that direction. So I, I think we're going back to the original Mario versus Sonic battles, man. It's uh, it's looking really, really good. I, I love the voice acting. Yeah. If you watch the Japanese trailer and you put the subtitles on, you can see the whispers in the woods are from Amy. It's a oh. character from the Sonic franchise. So yeah. It's um, I, I'm really looking forward to that. That's that's it. <laughs> So Sonic Frontiers was my absolute uh, favorite, but here it comes. I know it's an Xbox-centric podcast. The trailer from Horizon Forbidden West looked fucking mm. awesome as well. Mm. So I wanted to wait for Forspoken yeah. to get a PS5, but I think I might do it earlier for Horizon Forbidden West. That 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 that. I mean, it's cross-gen, really so you don't Seems need like a a good Horizon. Thing. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Seems like a good time I, to get one. Yeah. I, I know I know it's cross gen, Drew, but it's the same with the with the Xbox Series X. You know, it's it, no. if if I want a game, I want to play it in the best way possible. The highest, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean, King. So yeah. I, it's and I think Horizon Forbidden West has something to it. I I, I don't know what it is, but it, it looks it's, nice. It's, yeah, it's grabbing me. You know, I I, yeah. I want to play it. It's it's a bit of the Tomb Raider I'm missing for years now. Right. Yeah. Did, did you play the first one? I, I I started it, but then I was like, no, no, Finn, wait, you have to stream that. So now I'm finishing the first games for the PlayStation in order until my brother wants it back or I, or when I get a chance to buy a PS5. And then I will be starting uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, nice. Awesome. But yeah, well. it's the, the game looks really awesome. But so Sonic Frontiers is by far my most anticipated game from... Uh, the video game awards. Yeah. Oh, that was to be expected. You're a Sega child. You're a you're a big Sega child. Big fan. I I, I am. So, but but you know, if if it's if it's a bad game or a bad trailer, I will I will say the same. Yeah. But yeah. I, I Sonic Frontiers is actually looking a bit like Sonic Adventure Three. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm really looking forward to that. If it's open world Sonic and you can do all the stuff from Adventure combined with a, a larger open world with the graphics. That's sh shown in the trailer. I, I'm, uh, I'm getting horny, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, Put that lotion but, down. But I, I loved Hellblade too. I, I, I loved a Plague Tale too. The, the trailer as well. You know, because we, we get multiple weapons instead of just the, um, how, how you call that thing, the slingshot. 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 Yeah, yeah, slingshot. I, I've seen some. Uh, beautiful scenes with uh, variety of weapons. Alan Wake 2 finally gets his love. And I hope that next year we can see Quantum Break 2. I'll, well, ACG says, forget it, but I, 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 no, just, I, just, I just don't think it'll happen. Yeah, that'd be cool if it did. 
Yeah, but you know, my, 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 some of my favorite Xbox One games, you know, are ne never seen again. It's, it's Rise <laughs> of Rome. It's uh, Sunset Overdrive. It's Quantum Break. It's those were my, you know, my 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 games. I was like, yes, man. Finally, Microsoft is going in a direction with <laughs> multiple games. And then they were just like, fuck them all. We're just going back to Halo, Gears, Forza. But you know, <laughs> come on. I I. I I love Xbox, you know, because it's it is the Dreamcast 2 for me still. But you know, come on, bring. I want Lost Odyssey 2. I want Blue Dragon. I missed the trailer of Fable. I think it's about time, you know, the the, the Fable reboot. I, I the, it's coming. I, yeah, I know, but, <laughs> but I, 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 I was now. really hoping for a trailer. <laughs> Uh, oh I, no, I no, see, no, no, you're not getting I want to see gameplay king. There, there is games that are on deck. Right? So you, you got your, your your Halo Gears and Forza. That stuff is out of the way. Right now, yeah, you yeah I know, I know. Games but show that's me on deck. They're coming. All right, so you see so you have a vow, you, <laughs> you have the Hellblade 2, you have these games that's gonna start launching. You got the, the other Bethesda games, you got Star. Yeah. You have all these games that's gonna hold you down, and then when you pick your head up, you like, oh my god! Then they're gonna hit you in the face with fables, okay. and then you're like, oh my god, I'm back in. So, the king, trust, can, you're gonna be can, drowning in this. Stuff. Can, can I break your heart, King? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> can I break your heart? But I, I'm sorry, man. But I, I, I'm probably the only one, you know. And Boxenberger is gonna be mad now, but you know, I, I'm probably one of the few people who's not interested in Starfield or Avowed. I, I don't know what Starfield is. Yeah. So well, I, my, 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 I, I'm one of those. Was... I'm one of those people. I, I'm one of those. Uh, I think one point zero 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 one percent of the world population that that doesn't like Skyrim. You know? Oh, you're, you're <laughs> out of your mind. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I, wa I warned you, but you know. You know, I really loved loved Fable. You know, especially. I think we need to movie. bring the time out back. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, Broody, I didn't say FIFA yet. So. <laughs> no, but, oh, Pat, yeah. Pat, yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you um get over to Vin and you know maybe just kind of gently rub his back, tell him it's going to be all right. We <laughs> rock him a little bit if he needs to. <laughs> Um, you know, a bit of emotional support, I think. Uh, Shamblon, <laughs> Shamblon, it's the same with you with Splinter Cell, right? I mean, oh, no, I'm good now. I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, we, we had Fable Legends, right? The multiplayer game, but that, that, that wasn't bad. It, it really wasn't a bad game. They, they should have released it. So no. now, now I even bad. have more Fable need. So no, that just, whole. One v four or five fad was it was bad. Agent. Yeah, it was it, bad. I mean it, it looked good. I thought it, the it, it evolved. Thing. It was bad. It, 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 it worked pretty well. I, I, I really enjoyed. Didn't come out. I enjoyed the demo. I, I really enjoyed it. So, and I, I I need Fable. Come on. Listen, listen, listen. it's coming, man. It's coming. Give it some time. Yeah, but, but I need game play king. I if, you, if, if you would have got that Fable Legends, you would have never got Fable because it was horrible. Everybody, I hear all these guys scream for scale bound. Oh, oh dude, no, 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 you're not allowed to talk on this on this show. <laughs> but, Drew says, Don't talk about scale bound with finish here. You but can't you talk about score scale it. Bound. If, if you got a chance to see it in person, you'll realize it was wow. a mess. Yeah, no, it was, the frame yeah, scale -bound. was trash. scale bound was in such a mess that finally, what was it last week or the week before, where the, devel <laughs> the developer actually stated they were like, Yeah, it was. Yeah, but it was definitely idea, nowhere the, it was not at was, all the, close to the being idea there. was awesome come on the no idea the idea awesome. was nothing that's the problem it, it, the idea was in your head because they barely showed anything the idea was your your belief of what they were going to show later because not yeah. much was shown of Scalebound. it was and terrible it was, it was it was go up with your own no your listen i dreams. saw it i saw it physically with my <laughs> eyes I said no. <laughs> so when they canceled it, I wasn't pissed off. I wasn't mad. I was like, "Good going." Like, because you know, you a bad all, game you, can you, stick you around. You cry forever. all the time. You, you you say you cry all the time. Well, and, yeah. And you, well, I, I would cry for that. Uh, listen, a bad game <laughs> sticks forever, right? You know, and and you just don't need those type of blemishes. You don't need you, to step on certain rates. There's money involved here. Research and development and in, in developing a game is good. Right, 
And if yeah. it doesn't pan out, it doesn't go to production, you don't lose on that. If it goes out there, now you're expecting return on investment. I'm sorry. Sometimes you're not going to get it. And if it's very bad, then you can also tarnish the brand. Microsoft was going through a bad time. You're going to tarnish the brand even further? That's yeah. not going to happen. And it's whoever not. was in charge, Phil Dominus Maximus Aurelius Spencer, <laughs> said, hell no, not on my watch. <laughs> so, now, now you make me cry. You, <laughs> you were my hero, King. Come on. You're always, you're always Somebody guy. You, you were my hero. Man. Come on. Now you're doing this to me. Uh, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> Sean, what was, your, uh, what was your highlight of, of what we saw from the Game Awards in terms of trailers? Um, I only really have two because I only saw two, and there were two very, very, very good ones. Yeah. Um, and that was like I would have said, Hellblade and Plague's Tale. I love Plague's Tale. Yeah. I think it's such a good game. Um, such a fun game, such a unique story as well. The only thing I don't like about the game is that your dog dies right at the beginning. That actually yeah. tears me up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, but actually, now the I have been informed of a place where I can watch all of them without having to watch Keely or any of the adverts. I shall be going to do that. Because that's what I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking for a place where I could just sit down, just watch the things one after another, and not have to worry about anything else. So, so, so yeah, there's a lot of good that. ones. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I am, I'll be definitely going to that over the weekend. Yeah, the one the one um, thing I really liked about uh, Plague's Tale as well, on especially the, the trailer that they showed, was was that gorgeous open world and actually far more detail and uh, and and the map and the vistas and kind of the the locations that I wasn't expecting from a Plague's Tale. Like one one section you see on a on a on a ship, like <laughs> just floating mm-hmm. about the sea. I'm like, well, that I didn't expect that. The next section's running through these beautiful kind of. Um, kind of fields full of flowers and things like that and like the open sunlight and this like mountain area which looked insane but then you get the grimy dirty parts as well that are full of rats again as usual um it looks like it's going to be a much much bigger game a much much bigger vision than the previous game and i like that i Mm, like that yeah they've obviously they've got the confidence coming off the back of the first one where the, the, the story the visuals and the gameplay all knocked it out of the park um and and then the second one that said, "Yeah, I think we've we've got now the confidence in the story and the characters to be able to really go in on this one like we want to." Um, so it's, it's looking like it's going to be a really really good franchise. Um, and what else was it? Obviously, you mentioned Hellblade as well. Um, I'll I'll give you this one as well though. But the news we'll talk about Splinter Cell briefly for yours because you haven't seen the Game Awards, um, all of the trailers. But Splinter Cell's news that they're going to do a remake. Um, from obviously and, and from top to bottom, kind of do the game. Um, what what's your thoughts on, on Ubisoft on... Toronto? Yep, Ubisoft Toronto. What's your thoughts on that? On on what you've learned so um, far about it? Well, there's not really much <laughs> information other than who's making it, and it's in very early production. So I'm not expecting it for three, maybe four years, maybe five. Yep. You know, if if the announcement was almost like um. The uh, what's that? Um, thingy of the West, the uh, the Chinese. Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Wuhan. Black Mist. Wuhan. Wuhan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that that was just made to to get people interested in working for them. And I think this this announcement again, it's looking for people to to come work for them. Um, and that's what it says on Twitter anyway. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> I said at the beginning, uh, I'm really I'm I'm I'd like a new one. That'd be really cool to have a, have a new story, but I have a couple of concerns with the Sam Fisher. If he's getting on a bit, if you go down there making new ones, right? I think he's like in his fifties now in the, the last one, so he's you no, know, he's he's getting on a bit. And I, I've always ever, I've only ever seen it the fact that he'd be handing off to somebody, and soon he'd be the Lambert um, in the series. You know, giving the directions, being. The head of third echelon or fourth echelon, whatever it is now. Yeah. yeah. So going going back to going back to the start and just opening up the franchise to a whole new generation. Um, if they could if they could make the game good, 
obviously the um the gameplay of the first one is going to be very 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 dated so if they can bring that up to a more modern style uh, i hope it's not as modern as in conviction going and onwards i i like i didn't mind the whole mark and shoot but i much preferred the old style splinter cell where it is about staying in the shadows and working your way around um because it's uh, sometimes it's just a little easier just to mark people and then press the button and you go ping 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 and they're all dead yeah um i like the challenge of, of actually trying to figure out because for me like the games the, the levels sorry they're all like it's like a big puzzle it's, the, the splinter cell games are like huge puzzles to get through and there is a way you can get through every single level without being seen um without being heard or anything like that uh, i think it's chaos theories by my greatest achievement um maxing i got 100 percent in every single level of bar one which was the bathhouse which is notoriously hard um and you get points deducted every time you're spotted um <laughs> so it's, it's pretty hardcore um i need to go back and play that game and try and max it all out but yeah i mean I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, I want to see more. I don't expect to see more anytime soon. Yeah. Um, so we'll just we'll just have to see how it is. Um, it's just a relief for you that it's in having production, though. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. The sound at the start of the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. I'm I'm really confident. But I'm I'm kind I'm kind of expecting there to be a slight deviance. Um, or deviation, sorry, from the original. I don't think it's going to be a like to like, but I think it will be the the same story in terms of like the the antagonists and what's going on. But I just think there'll be there'll be something slightly different. It won't just maybe be maybe expand a, it a little bit, a makeup job on it. Maybe, yeah, maybe cut some things out, maybe add a bit more. But it's not just going to be a a little bit of paint on it and then call it a day. I think it's going to be a proper remake. Yeah. Well, I hope it's going to be proper. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So they say remake or remaster. Remake. Um, remake. Ground, ground, ground up remake. remake. Yeah, it's a remake. It's a remaster. Ground yeah. up remake. Yeah. Oh, if it's a remake, then yeah, great. I can do that. Yeah, yeah they said it's a ground remaster. up remake. Cool. So that should okay. be interesting. Yeah, I don't want it just to see. Oh, here's it's selling 4K, but it's exactly the same assets. They've just made it 4K. <laughs> They're making it in the Snowdrop engine, and they're going to, um, they're going to to modernize some of the me mechanics. They said um, because they said a couple of things are just outdated, so they're going to update some mechanics. Um, it'll be the same game, but in the Snowdrop with a couple of modern stuff. You ready for the sad oh. truth? Go on. What's that? Oh yeah. Oh, this was announced because terrible reception for the nft yeah yep. that yeah. does not surprise and me i would seriously doubt that this would be definitely nft or blockchain in some way involved yeah. There, so. yeah, yeah yeah um but i don't so monkey's real that game is for sure real but it is also there as a technical but there's a very real game that's going on there here hmm. this is pre 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 production Yep. Yeah. So, it, like you said, with years, it could be depending because they have huge teams, which is crazy about Ubisoft is how big they can. When they want to work on something, they can be like twelve hundred people, bitch, <laughs> and they yeah. suddenly they've got these <laughs> massive teams working on it. But um, it also, I think, uh, I I really do feel that the timing is really suspect, yeah, really definitely. suspect. And I did ask a couple people that I know that would know about Ubisoft in particular, which is usually where I do get early info, haven't received word back, but that is absolutely my personal opinion, at least right now, is that they had You've a horrendous, feeling. one of the worst responses to a video other than Ubisoft or other than YouTube's own um, end of the year video. That is the <laughs> yeah, most disliked video on YouTube. This one is yeah. one of the highest dislike. It got destroyed. And that's also because their announcement was terrible. It wasn't just NFTs, which I know about. I did a video on blockchain and NFTs. It has, it's not just that. It's that the video itself was terrible. Like they did a horrible job explaining why digits on your helmet would matter. And I think that they saw this and were like, let's put it out there. And that's why you're hearing this revitalize, you know, rework from the ground mm -hmm. up. It's just all really soft language, which is fine because to be honest, I don't know if I want to remake. 
That's just me. Not yeah. a not a perfect remake. And also the modernization we see in some stealth games suck compared to Splinter Cell, the old days of Splinter Cell. So it's yeah. gonna yeah. I would rather have them take a long time and you know hopefully this continues to be made. It's Far Cry six developers who still have DLC to release. So that's another thing of like who's working on what when. Yeah. Um but yeah. I will say Far Cry six developers doesn't make me go, oh awesome. Not to be rude. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't think Far Cry 6 was great shakes. So who knows? Maybe this is more their thing. You know, a more linear title. Maybe this is, you know, maybe this turns out great, which I'd love because I, I dig Splinter Cell. Yeah. Good Splinter Cell. Yeah. Automatic zero from me if Michael Ironside isn't involved. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hopefully he will be because they stated the whole thing about this, the the facial mapping and stuff. They only used it for that one game. And then after that, he has dropped so many hints in so many different tweets, interviews that he's still working on it. But he has really bad diabetes. He's really unhealthy. Um, he's had a lot of health issues. But voice wise, I say get him in there anyway. I say just get him in there anyway. Prop him up with a stick. On the end. Give him a some crunches. Prop him up. Roll him out there because I dig Mike Ironside. And if it's not him, I'm going to be mad. Roll him out there. Be like, dude. Microphones in the hospital bed. Be like, yeah, prop him up. I don't care if he's got a tracheotomy box. He can be like, I'm Sam Fisher. Whatever. Y'all heard him say that. I visualized it. Before yeah, yeah, yeah. He <laughs> there you go. That's so exactly it. Prop him up there. I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just with the old <laughs> shitty bed where only a quarter of it goes oh up. Man. I, I love it myself. <laughs> so, and I like amazing. Mike Ironside. If it's not him, man, you would have to find a really good voice actor. Somebody who really hit because that's his that's him. Splinter Cell. Yeah. So I was going to say, I heard, I, I heard this the other week as well, actually, that it was, and it was only up until recently because somebody asked Mike Lionside if there was anything going on with Splinter Cell, and he, he was saying no. And then, then a week later, this person had been, like, he had spoke to him and said, right, well, I have had contact now, but it's like very early contact, just to say, would you be interested? So he's had contact a couple times because we yeah. did a podcast almost two years ago where he was on an interview and he was like, yeah, we're talking about it. Um, so again, that could have died out. It could yeah. be different games. The VR game, right? They still have the yeah. Splinter Cell VR game, right? Of yeah. some kind. Well, his voice in the Ghost so we Recon don't know. DLC. And well. he appeared in Ghost Recon. That is absolutely mm. true. It could have just been him not able to say, you know, what he was he working said, on. It was just Ghost he's Recon. He's 71. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. yeah he's I, ancient. I, I, I saw, I saw he says it in chat. He's 71. Same well, as uh, Steve Downs from uh, Nazi. <laughs> yeah, Steve Downs. Yeah, Down. so yeah I mean, William Shatner is still <laughs> jumping into spaceships. Yeah. He's 90, so yeah. I guess I shouldn't I shouldn't yeah. say ancient. You know, <laughs> old, I love him. I love him, I mean, and I, I, I hope to see him in it. Michael Ironside looks 71 in Starship Troopers, so there's not really much to go off in that, does he? He's not oh, easy. no. He's no, got no. you. Looks, Go look. He looks like when MacGyver, whoever played MacGyver, <laughs> left MacGyver, and then a, like a week later, somebody took a picture, and he was really ill, and he just looked really swollen and bad. And you're like, ooh, <laughs> so, mm. yeah, yeah. But no, I'm I'm hoping, man. I I love so the dude. I want to get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help him. I'll get him on a weightlifting program. Let's go, Michael. Come on. I'll do. I just part. need him. <laughs> I just need him to read, read every word from a dictionary, and then into an AI, AI, AI simulate. voice. Yeah, yeah, I can simulate. Dude, I've tr I practiced one of those, and it's pretty crazy how close it can come to your voice in a couple I'm, years. Really, that is Michael could so just scary. It is, dude. I sent a bunch of dirty limericks to my wife that were typed in via AI after I had trained it. And she yeah. was like, it sounds like, is that you? And I'm like, no, it's, it's the computer, but it was close. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. In a couple of years, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be so amazing. To see. <laughs> Terrible. Of course, that's what I used it for. Nothing useful. No. Right. That's what we I do. paid money, by that's the way, to that and the only thing I did was send dirty like messages to that's everybody. What we just, do. Just, yeah, just, just, like, <laughs> so immature. But that's what I was like. This is awesome. It says ass. It says it out loud. This is amazing. You my wife was not impressed. Building it? He's like, yo, yeah. they're going to do so many. Oh, dude, things. exactly. As soon as you get it, we're going to cure cancer. Words. And I'm like, will it? Will it do? Will it say ass? <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> I'll buy it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, awesome. oh, yeah. uh, just That's to, true. Uh, what was your favorite trailer? 
My favorite, my favorite trailers. Uh, obviously, Hellblade. You would, you would know that by the custom Hellblade Series X I've got. Um, then again, Plague's Tale. Um, primarily, but um, but they they were the two standouts for me. To be honest, the the vast majority of the others, like I wasn't as overly impressed with um, Suicide Squad as I thought I would be. It still didn't really hit on the gameplay note that I wanted to see. I don't think they showed off mm. enough to really call that a gameplay demo. Um, having having played the previous Hellblades, you know that there is no HUD and that gameplay from cinematic to actual. <laughs> no, that's just. Did Sov did Sov not know that? Did Sov not know that? <laughs> I had to stream him. He was like, "Yeah, they did. I don't know when, when you know they didn't show the hood." I'm like, "Didn't have one, but thing right there." Yeah, gosh, I guess you didn't play it, huh? <laughs> yeah, obviously because there is no hood in Hellblade anyway. The, the transition between gameplay and cinematic is nigh on identical, so you would never be able to yeah. really tell the difference between the two. And the same with Hellblade mm. One; like they didn't use a cinematic quality camera for the for the cinematics. It was just the gameplay from from video angles, and that was it. And then it just transitions into gameplay. Yeah. Um, so that's why I was a little bit more comfortable knowing what I'd seen from Hellblade was gameplay. Sure. Versus what I've seen from the, the the what they class as gameplay from Suicide Squad, where it was kind of them just running around in certain sections, and I was like, I'm not quite sure what is going on here. There isn't like there was no hood on that gameplay. It, for, from what I could yeah. see, it was just them floating about the map and jumping around, and it looked good, like su- like uh, Sunset Overdrive style. Um, but then it was your your point is to kill the Justice League, and then immediately in that trailer, like you've got the Flash running rings around them, and he's like. <laughs> Even when they think he's dead, he's like, nah, you haven't even touched, like, not even got a scratch on us yet. You're not getting anywhere close. And they're even saying, like, we've used the best we've got, and he's not, like, we haven't even got close to him. Um, So I'm not sure how that's going to pan out, and if you're meant to take out all these guys, or whether or not the story's going to be different. So I'm still on the fence with that one, whether or not that'll be as good as it could be. Um, And again, like I say, a shout out to Sonic, because I, I like the way that is that is going, and the way that is looking. Um, I, love or you. I don't, and I'm I not, love you. like I'd, uh, and previously I, w- I wasn't a big fan of the of the 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 previous kind of 3D Sonics <laughs> that they brought out in the earlier generations. I wasn't a big fan of them, like Sonic Adventures, etc. So Frontiers needs to do a lot to get me to physically invest in it. But I'm I'm intrigued by what I see on this yeah. one. Um, but that that they are the ones that stood out to me. Star Wars, I, again, much like you, King Art, as much as the trailer looks cool, I'm not going to comment on anything. I don't know what it is yet. Um, and yeah. with because, those, it, because it's EA. No, just because it's <laughs> just because there is nothing. I don't know what that game is. Like, uh, yes, it's a it's a Star Wars game, but what is it? Like, what it's is not, yeah, the it's game? Quantum Dreams, isn't it? Yeah, Quantum Quantum, quantum Dreams. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what oh, is it's a EA. Yeah, no. quite a quantic dreams, okay. separate studio entirely. But okay. but what is it is my thing, and and with trailers where I don't know or can't see what it's going to be yet in terms of what's what is this with avowed. At yeah. least we know the studio's history and and what they're planning to do with it, more like a Skyrim esque. So we're like, okay, we've got a good idea as to what it could be. So it's kind of a little bit of enticement there. Um, but with with this game, I have no idea what what this game's meant to be. I don't know if anybody's got any more back in, background information on what this new Star Wars Eclipse is meant to be. Um, what kind of game style is it? Is it going to be? Uh... They did state that it is going to be a full on like action adventure game. It's not going to be like Detroit Become Human, which I liked. I thought Detroit it... Become Human was very good. Then it's not going to be um, like it's a... going to be. Yeah, this is, uh, this is due. Not going to be like a. Nice I mean, from what they were explaining, it, style either. It's... Not like an MMO. Mm-mm. No, it's going to be an action. And I mean, when you look at Eclipse and you look at the time frame and some of the stuff that they showed, I'm doing a video on some of the stuff that they showed because there is actually things they showed that you can like go, oh, I think I know what that character is or these characters, especially in some of the walking scenes. Yeah. But overall, yeah, we don't know much. Just that it'll be multiple characters and it'll be an action slash like story game where you can alter all these characters, you know, lives as they go through it. So I would assume like Detroit Become Human, but much more action packed, which to me, I mean, I don't know. I like Detroit 
Phantom Human a lot, and I'm not a big, huge fan of him. And yeah. so the idea of, of that being, I mean, then you have Ubisoft's too. Remember that Ubisoft's yeah. got their full open world Star Wars game. Yeah. So there's at least three. And Evol or, or did you guys see? I'm not a big fan of this show anymore, but Expanse has a Telltale game. That Tell game that. looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, and so you've got that too. So there's there's definitely some cool stuff coming out for sure. I yeah. had forgotten about the Expanse one. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, well, it's you know based off the TV show, so mm -hmm. yeah, pretty good stuff. Oh, I gotta watch Hawkeye. I gotta go. <laughs> 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 uh, but to wrap up the show nicely, I want to ask one final question um, for for everybody, each panel member and the guests, uh, and that is the the highlight of your year. Um, of 2021 and the negative you start obviously with a negative of the year um, and then the highlight um, to keep it on a positive note but uh, Boxenberger yours first brother what was your the the major kind of negative you took out of this year but then also the major positive the big highlight oh um well the the, the major negative thing is probably the whole Activision Blizzard thing um I think that's just <clears throat> Yeah, it's such a mess. Um, it's so sad to see uh, such a big company uh, that have so many beloved IPs um, brought uh, over the years. And you know what it is uh, they, as well, Archie? I've like seen uh, after and during the Game Awards, the developers that are still stuck at those studios really, really yeah. gutted that they were in, like intentionally snubbed, like their work was just deliberately not included. Yeah. Um, and they were personally yeah. heartbroken that they and they understood why. But they were also so frustrated that they had to. They were stuck at this development studio that, and they couldn't be proud of their work anymore because of the name attached to who they're working with. Um, yeah, and that that is the, yeah, the that's biggest. A, that's upset. A, the entire thing. Yeah. Um, there's such a big fallout to this. It's it's not just what actually happened to all these women uh, and everyone um, involved. Um, it's it's the fallout now um, for all these people, the layoffs, um, the shit that has come out about Bobby a little bit after uh, the the court thing started and everything. I think that is is my biggest disappointment. Um, this, this entire mess is just just sad to see in in, in an industry that I love so much. Um, so yeah, that's probably my my negative. You want me go to to put the, out the positive yes. uh, as well, or yes, straight into the positive. You as well. first want to hear the <laughs> <laughs> straight to the positive. Yeah, I um I think there there are many many things um you you could highlight uh, this year. Um, Xbox did a lot of good uh, things. Um, with Game Pass and everything, but I think the the thing that really stood out to me is um, to see the love for for indie games this year. Um, I've seen constantly over the course of this year people talking really very enthusiastic about smaller games, games that made were made by one people, two people, um, Death Store, The Ascent, Song of Iron, uh, The Artful Escape. Um, absolute highlight in my opinion is but uh, you, you've seen so many of these these kind of indie games throughout the year that really carried that year that was riddled with delays and everything um and so yeah i think the 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 positive thing here is that we have seen that indie uh, developers can actually deliver some of the best gaming experiences this year and um i think that is definitely a highlight that stands out to me in in 2021 Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. John, what is your big highlight and, well, what's your big negative of the year from the gaming industry and, and, and big highlight of the year as well? Um, My negative is a little similar to Archie in that just as soon as you get the suits involved and higher-ups and just the scum of the industry, it really kind of taints <laughs> everything. Yeah. Um. Like I didn't see the game was, but I, I can only imagine those that have put their heart and souls into games that are no longer being recognised because of what's gone on that has nothing to do with them. Um. So, yeah, it's a little bit disheartening, and in in a way, I'm, I'm glad it has come out so it can now be dealt with. Yeah. Um. That kind of thing. Um. For me, positive. My my positive is that it just how strong the game industry the games industry is looking 
lacking in terms of your two rivals in Microsoft and Sony that they've just they've set themselves up for a cracking generation so far. Um, and I'm, I'm look, just really looking forward to it. I think this year has been strong for both of them. Uh, Microsoft didn't have much at the beginning of the year and Sony did and then vice versa when it flipped. So, and then next year, I think it's going to be really interesting and really good for everybody. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I got to I got to agree with that. Especially the tail end of this year when we've we've seen Unreal Engine Five's kind of capabilities and and kind of a teaser as to what that's capable of. Um, and obviously we know just how many studios are using that engine as well right now. And then you've got the advancements of internal engines, of course, across the board. Um, and like you mentioned, both sides had two opposite sides of the year. So Microsoft started off a bit weak from their own first party offerings and ended really strong. Uh, PlayStation started off really strong and then ended quite weak at the end of the year uh, with nothing since June per, from a first party perspective. Um, but going into next year, as you mentioned, there's just a flood of games like pretty much carpeting the entire year. Like February now is just looking ridiculous and I don't know what Crossfire were thinking putting their game out in February. Like that is just that's a suicide mission if ever I've seen one. But never mind. <laughs> um Herthog, you're massive <laughs> you're massive negative for the year, mate, and also you're positive. Well I'll start with the negative. Again, it's been uh, twenty one years uh, at the moment. There is still no Skies of Arcadia <laughs> remaster <laughs> remake port <laughs> part two <laughs> announced by Sega. So I I'm really uh, sad about that again. Yeah. But you know, maybe one day, maybe one day. <laughs> but the positive thing from most positive thing for me is it's not it's not a company related, but uh, well, it's it's you guys, you know, for asking me to the to join the podcast and uh, meeting all. All of you and the community here. So that, that's my highlight in gaming, I think, this year. Awesome. And, stuff. and of course, my uh, of course my Skies of Acadia controller. Yes. Made, made by made by Wandering Dutch. <laughs> awesome. Is it, to, to, to make some Skies of Acadia commercials again. Eh? Sega, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> you get that one day. You will get we that. want Skies of Acadia on Xbox, Sega. <laughs> yep. You never know. I, I like, that's my highlight. My highlight by far is, uh, you know, joining you guys, uh, like, what, what is it, half half a year ago now, Yeah, I think? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. And uh, meeting all the, the people here, that, that always in chat, like Paul and uh, Muppet and Fleety, and you name them. It's, uh, it's been crazy. I, I, I never thought people would be interested in my opinion or my bullshit I talk, but, you know, I, I'm, st- I'm still here, so... <laughs> That's my highlights of fun, meeting ACG, you know, King is a... You, you people are great, Boxenberger, you know. Uh, I love you all, Wandering Dutch. Uh, of course, Erwin, who's not here, thanks for asking me here, so... Love you all. Awesome and, uh, stuff. It's, it's great meeting community, man, so... Definitely. And we definitely. will kick your ass, uh, King David, in Halo Tournament. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, that's a bold claim but a lot yes. of bodies have been stacked up and you know how i am with my knees i collect uh, i know, I know. you have shea butter on them please thank you no, no, it's, 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 it's hurt again here so. <laughs> okay good you like me to soak my knees in beer i got it yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me acg brother mm. Your your major negative of this year. You've had it from a different perspective because you've had uh, you've obviously had the 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 side of the industry that we don't usually see ourselves. We're not obviously to that scale yet, but you get to see the more the back end stuff as well um, with the reviewing angles and and kind of embargoes and certain games that you might know of, and then then things go wrong, etc. And um, but what's your major negative of the of the year so far? And then the obviously the, the major highlight as well. The thing that really kind of I mean, stood out I would here. say negative is you know overall reviewing and stuff just isn't it. It's not. It's not too terrible. You have the cyberpunk debacle and a couple things there, you know. But that was last year. Um, I would say this year the big negative would be games like you know the games like Halo not fin- not having co op, Outriders mm. not doing as well, not doing what I wanted, and a lot of games having that online but not on you know not really having a good reason to be online. 
Yeah. So it's more just the overall general feel of it. And then NFTs and blockchain are becoming such a thing really quickly. And they really threaten a lot of the, even more so than free to play. People think free to play yeah. is like bad. They have no clue, no, even not even an inkling of the energy behind NFT and how terrible it's been for the current games that are doing NFT, let alone what we'll see with AAA titles and stuff. So I would say it's more that weird business aspect um, when it comes to, you know, what developers and produce and publishers want versus what they're giving us. A lot of these online games where you're like, why is it online? There's no reason, you yeah, know, sorry. weird shit like that. But the best is I, I, I'm going to steal it, but it, it, it is actually my, my, uh, my answer. And I wrote it down, which is also community. I got to meet all the iron Lords. This is the first year where I got to meet them. And I was just like, Holy shit. Like this group, cause you meet a lot of groups and they all have been awesome, but there's some groups that just for whatever reason, like things feel like they just, it's like everything melds together. Everybody is like bouncing off each other and yourself as well. Like all these guys have come together and I've been like, wow, this is, yeah, it's really awesome. Even if we don't agree on something or whatever, which happens all the time because we're human. Um, I, I actually feel like there's something very cool there where, because a lot of times you hear somebody say, I don't like console wars. And you'd be like, do you not really? Or you just <laughs> say, you, like, yeah. you seem to sort of like them. But what's funny is you have, you have this awesome point where, some, where like, I believe a lot of the people I meet now, which I'm going to be brutally honest, years past when I first started, there were times where I was like, is that person really, you know, it's almost like there's a solidarity going on with some podcasts and some communities where there's a bit more, that's why I do the, the no sponsorships, for instance, right. and, oh, and certain things I do where I never felt it was really met up as much. And now dude, some of the people I talk in the background, like addict, I got to give him a shout out. Cause he's the that's one who introduced dude. me to everybody. I'm talking to addict, just going like, how in the F did I not know who he was? Like, because he fits me yeah. like he, he, and, and it's just awesome. All you guys invite me on. I've never felt uncomfortable. I've never felt like I was going to have to argue a certain point. And when I did, it just came across where everybody's like, okay, I get it. And yeah. that is not something. And I can just be brutally honest. That is not something that when I started, I felt for the first right. two or three years, total biscuit was the first time. Mm -hmm. And he and I didn't get along at first. And he was, but once we <laughs> did, and I sort of under, once we started talking, I was like, oh my God, I get it. Yeah. Like, finally, I actually get somebody and it's blossomed from there. So the communities, all the communities have been fucking generally kick ass and i would not say that if it was not true i would be like good games and just move on but <laughs> truthfully, i would i would it, but no communities are awesome man i mean it's it's pretty insane it's yeah. it, it's something that i don't feel i've had since i started gaming back in the genesis atari days like it is really coming together and it's very cool awesome stuff awesome stuff king uh you've obviously uh, <clears throat> you're gonna make me cry <laughs> For the, <laughs> for the Iron Lords, I know there's there's been a, a negative in terms of a loss to the family as well. In uh, uh, yeah. and, and obviously you know that. Yeah. Um, uh, and and shout out to himself. Obviously he'll be absolutely proud of yourselves and the work you do. And of course Cog is just just on fire at the moment these days as a group. Um, yeah. uh, and yourselves as a group as well have managed to get the the uh, again registered as a as a company. I think, which is the first I've, I've seen that, which is absolutely insane. Um, but in terms of of this year, I think you've really kind of hit that hit that that high note. You've really gotten into your strides as well, the Iron Lords. Um, but what is your major uh, negative um, of the year and, and major positive? I tell a lot of people we're really hamstrung uh, during this pandemic because we can't go to shows. Yeah, our, yeah. our bread and butter, I, I, I'm a strategic planist, right? So I'm the marketing director of Iron Lord. So how we, how I plan things, mm -hmm. I'm a very impersonal dude. Like I, I get in person, how you doing, what's going on? And, you know, um, and I can gauge your energy when I'm talking in front of you. And I and I can work off of that, and and I do very well in crowds with a lot of people. Um, so the fact that we couldn't go to these shows and stuff early in the year, and PAX was taken out, and then E three was off the table, and you know we we had big stuff planned for a lot of these stuff, uh, and and being about and meeting people, 
uh, I have I, people tell other people's stories. Like, oh, I met King, and you know, he's he's the dude. But like, I see, like, you know, because I I think you have to be real. You know, um, you just you just have to be real with people. Like, just be real. So if if you, if you see me, I'm walking around wearing Iron Lord shirts. Uh, I'm that dude. Uh, I, I'm that dude that shake your hand. I'm that dude. If, if if you think I don't like PlayStation, you're nuts. I've I was on PlayStation before a lot of these dudes is doing anything. Um, it's certain things I I require of my companies that I spend my money with, right? So if I'm spending money with a company, I'm asking for something in return, and if they're not giving me something, because you know we, we buy these consoles with hope and promise, right? So they promise us something, and we hope they fulfill it. Uh, but they give us, we give them the money, so they already got the money. So if they run off with it, we like kind of stuck, right? So <laughs> <laughs> early on in this year, I didn't really have a chance to turn on my PlayStation. That's my little down, right? And um, because they're not doing things like I want it, but I know next year, because I know it's going to come around, I'm going to be playing on my PlayStation. So it's like, because my is like, yo, you should, you should sell it. Get the hell out of here. I'm not selling it. <laughs> I already <laughs> sold the extra ones that I did have in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So what? All right. Yeah. I made some money. <laughs> yeah, I was not selling my Xbox. It was hard to get. But um, so early on, uh, we, we lost <laughs> uh, a lot of people this year. That's the down. Yeah. We weren't able to go out and, mingle with the community and meet the wonderful faces. So I, I didn't get to go, go to Gamescom and meet you guys, right? Because we will get out to Germany and, and, yeah. and, and people will come down and we will meet you guys. I didn't get the chance to go to E3 and hang out with Randall Thor and these guys and, and you know, like how we do. So uh, that aspect kind of sucked. But the great aspect of it is I did get a chance to come on people's shows. I did get a chance to to meet ACG. I I, I did get a chance to go to the movies with Everborn. Um and and, <laughs> and awesome. <laughs> what movie? Sorry. Yeah, we went to go see Saint Chi and and, oh. and, and and we 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 put it up uh we did the review right there. Beautiful right. stuff. But like you said the community is really good. But what I've noticed is we just weeded out the toxic, ostracized it, yep. put a barrier to it, and it doesn't permeate our chats. It doesn't permeate our Twitter lines. It just understands to stay away from this type of people because these people just, we, we're not into it. So that's mm -hmm. that's what I've learned. Twitter was negative early in the year, but my positive right now is my Twitter timeline is really clean and it's really engaging and it's really fun with like-minded individuals that are all, all on the same path. You know, yeah, man, we, we all talk about consoles and have fun with it, yeah. but it's absolute fun with it. Like it's been not hatred or anything. So yeah, I'm very pleased to be here today. I am so happy. And when I saw ACG, I was like, I really, really like this dude too. <laughs> I get a chance to hang out with my European buddies because, uh, you know, the times we get a chance to play, like Dutch saw me on right after the show and sent me the invite to, to jump in the chat. And he, was, he thought he was going to get some Halo in. I was like, brother, I'm four hours on the podcast. I've been up 24 hours. I'm going to bed. Um, Sundays, <laughs> yeah. I'll be really baked and cooked. But um, I do appreciate everything really honestly and i wouldn't have done without gaming so gaming is the you know the huge thread for us so i i, I really love this stuff so i'm going on but i love this that's what that's, that's my hype <laughs> this. Keep going. Keep going. You're good at <laughs> awesome stuff awesome stuff Pat, you what's your what's your major negative of the year brother and uh and obviously major positive well, the uh, yeah, the negative thing. I think I, I I'm gonna agree with uh, with Boxenberger about it. The whole thing, what's what's going on in the uh, what happened in the gaming community or uh, gaming industry. Uh, you know, like it's 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 a bad thing, and you should have respect for each other. That's that's one of the most important things. So, yeah, that, that I think that's the biggest negative for me this year. 
but the most positive things is uh, I've been enjoying gaming this whole year, uh, meeting new people, uh, especially on the podcast as well. It's 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 been a crazy year uh, with this whole virus thing, and you know, seeing people grow in the community as well. Uh, me got affiliated on Twitch. Head of Finn got affiliated on Twitch. Okay. You know, like and helping each other out. It's 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 been an amazing ride. So, and yeah, like I said, I've been I've been enjoying gaming this whole year. Uh, Especially now with all the games that's coming out, Love Forza Horizon Five, um, Love Halo Infinite, PUBG is uh, you know you guys know that I played PUBG before, but it's I think it's a little bit over for me now because uh, yeah, oh. all the change. I've been enjoying all, all of this uh, this whole shows and uh, also one thing that I really like was uh, getting invited on the show of. K Asante, that was the first ever show outside this this, this podcast. So, yeah, yeah it's really awesome. And uh, I hope, maybe who knows in the future, I can uh, be uh, on other shows. But we're gonna see. So, yeah, yeah, I'm looking Definitely. forward to it, guys. Definitely, awesome stuff. Awesome. And Drew, stuff. yeah, and yours and mine. Oh uh, yeah. Well, the negatives for me, yeah. obviously, we've seen it's not just at the beginning, but throughout throughout the year, I think just the some of the game developers that have eventually been kind of found out for what they're actually doing internally, and and obviously that that is an absolute mess. Over recent weeks as well, we've seen some really outrageous stuff from some of the people that have been caught out by individuals, um, and rightfully um, reprimanded by the individual companies. Um, but obviously that is the major negative um in terms of uh, and i obviously just want to get that out the way um that needs to get ironed out going in 2022 we can't have more of that stuff going on it needs to just get put a nail in it get it sorted get it fixed um have these developers feel like they can work for companies that they feel proud of again um because there's nothing worse mm-hmm. than working for somebody and have have your hard work tarnished for for no reason other than the big man at the top who doesn't care about what you do only cares about the money um is going to kind of ruin your your own reputation through his actions and not through your work um yeah. um but that aside my my major highlight this year has just been for it it's been the community um our our channel and growth meeting new people um, obviously getting the ACG on for the second time this year, which is, it's been phenomenal and, and massive. Yeah, shout thank out you very to, much for inviting me. No, it's awesome. I really, like I say, I really respect your yeah. opinion. King, it's exactly the same for you, brother. Um, the Iron Lords have always been Good. there for us from the start um, and helped <clears> us grow in, in both uh, on a personal level as well with Lord Cog always kind of there to chat. Um, yourself always, always down to, to come and mix it up with us on, on the show and have some fun. Um, of course, jumping on your <laughs> yeah. show a couple of times, um, but just always being there, like across the board, um, the community is, as ACG mentioned, um, you need to click with the right people. And, and this year specifically, um, has just been absolutely awesome for that right communities, right people. Um, we took, um, it's like I say, we took the, the initiative to start something called the collective, um, and kind of spread that love that we've been shown by other podcasts to to other smaller shows to help them grow from the ground up um and seeing them grow and blossom and, and their communities grow and and them hitting milestones has just been absolutely awesome so for me it's been the community and 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 watching everybody on on our panel and the wider community grow as a whole as well and together that has been my major highlight um obviously we we went through um, got past that. We've actually doubled our subs- subscriber counts now from from 600 where we were at the beginning of the year up to 1200 where we are today. Um, and then obviously, uh, like getting all of our now we've got the Twitch the Twitch aspect as well with like four or five people as affiliates, which is absolutely awesome. And and obviously more uh, hopefully they continue to grow on that side. Um, and really, like I say, I just take inspiration from from several people, ACG and, and the Lords are, are one of them. Um, 
just for the work that you do, the 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 honesty that you put into the work that you both do, um, and like I say, as a whole, the community it's been absolutely in tremendous this year, um, and success to everyone going into next year as well, both the ACG, the Lords, and everybody in between. Um, may it continue. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, but. I want to round it off there. It has been an absolute blast for everybody. Um, I will finish off myself before we get into the outros um, by saying, of course, uh, I have got a little roundup video that's going to be coming. I was going to play it straight after the stream, but unfortunately, software issues prevented that. But a little outro, like a, a recap of the year, uh, which will discuss and show off some of our collective creators as well. Um, that will be going up uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, on Friday, I'll be joining Boxenberger. I'll let him discuss that when we go to his outro. Um, and on Saturday, the big one for oh, yes. us. The big one for us uh, on Saturday is our twenty-four hour charity live stream for yeah, McMillan Cancer. Let's support. go, Dutch. Um, <laughs> twenty-four hours. Full yeah. 24 Let's hours. go. Yeah. Oh, bro, I did twenty-four hours of No Man's Sky. Man, it's rough. <laughs> No no make, sure you're, make sure you're prepped man that's yeah. a long podcast hey guys yep. i gotta go right now because my doorbell is ringing oh and i didn't realize that i have a delivery coming but i want to say thanks to you guys very much for inviting me it was an absolute Peace, blast no, see you hey, absolutely hey, see see you. Thanks, man. <laughs> yep. have a good Thank one you. See you, man. have a good one but yes, yeah, so 24 hour live stream on Twitch, um, which, well, Twitch and YouTube, um, of course. Thankfully, uh, Perrin Pluck in the chat there has been posting the, the link to that for Game Heroes for Macmillan Cancer Support. Um, that, that is going to be a tough slog. General C is going to be sitting with me for the full 24 hours, so hats off to him. Obviously, I know it means a lot to him having had, uh, uh, obviously, his, his mother suffer and, and pass away due to cancer. Um, but obviously cancer affects everybody, um, whether it's yourself, whether it's a family member or friends, we all know it's affected somebody. So yeah. it's a close, it's a, it's a support close to our hearts. Um, so that's going to be, uh, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a tough slog, um, but we're going to try and make it some fun. Um, Crazy Louie, I want to give a massive shout out to him. Um, he has, uh, he, he said to, to give out to the community today, but I think giving it out on the charity stream is going to be more appropriate. He has most generously donated a $50 Xbox uh, voucher um, to give away to the community. Um, so a massive shout out to awesome. him um, on Saturday. Uh, I will be giving that out on the Twitch stream uh, to one of our awesome community members um, just for the support that you provide us. Um, that's a massive shout out to Crazy Louie and his, and his gang. Um, a massive shout out to that support as well. Um, but without further ado... Uh, the 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 outros begin with uh, first of all Box and Burger. If you let people know, brother, what you've got coming up this week, and uh, where they can find you. Yeah, well, I can't top this uh, charity stream. Such an awesome thing uh, of you guys to do it. Highly recommend everyone to support it. Check it out. Um, really um, awesome thing to do. Um, yeah. People can find me everywhere under Boxenberger, that's for sure. But um, on Friday, we have I have a big live show on my channel coming up uh, where we uh, give the highlights of 2021. Um, we run through the biggest news of the year, the biggest games. Um, that's going to okay. be a lot of fun. Dutch, you are going to be part of this. Ainsley from Season Gaming is joining us. Um, we have Matt from Fun Speculation, Boomstick from Double Barrel Gaming, Lord Cognito unfortunately couldn't make it uh, <laughs> uh, because of his new job. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, definitely uh, uh, something worth checking out. Uh, put a lot of effort into, into prepping all the topics. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah. Otherwise, I want to wish everyone in the community because and this is the last time. Hmm? Are, are you forgetting something, Rudy? Well, Am I forgetting something? It's face yeah. reveal. It's, it's a day. Oh, yeah. face reveal. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's uh, camera review. debut. My camera debut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. you, You're going to see Boxenberg live now. Yeah, you're gonna see that, and That's you're gonna see me live also on this show and every everything else I'm on um, from now nice. on. Out. Um, <laughs> yes. so looking no, forward to that. that. 
Wolfenstein. Um, get it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Show us that puss. Pause. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bring in the sound effect. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Good. Mm. Yeah. No, um, that's going to be a lot of fun on Friday. So, yeah. And otherwise, um, because this is the last time um, we have a podcast here on this channel this year, I think. Yeah. I want, want to wish everyone uh, happy holidays and a happy new year. Um, it's been an awesome year here with the community, with everyone involved in, in this show, all the guests we had on King, of course, ACG uh, earlier, but also across the year, we had so many great guests here on this on this podcast. And um, it wouldn't be possible without the community. So I wanted to, so, to really say thank you to everyone who supports uh, the Midweek Mixer podcast. It's a, it's a fantastic podcast. And I love coming here every each and every week. And it's not just because of the awesome panel, but also because of the awesome community. So thank you, everyone. Yeah, most definitely. 100% agree with that. Uh, Sean Ballon, brother, I know it's been a, it's been a, a, a rough year for you in, in several aspects, but also it's been, uh, I would imagine, there are some high points as well, though. But um, if you can let people know um, where they can find you, brother, and obviously um, going into next year, have a nice break away from not only podcasting, but eventually getting to sit down and relax when you're finished with the school um, as well Students. on Friday. Um, but yeah, let people know where they can find you and, and what you're going to be up to over the next few weeks. You won't be able to find me anyway. I'm in bed. I'm recovering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell of an eight weeks. It's been a, it's been a fun and I've learned a lot. Um, <clears throat> but it's been a very tiring eight weeks. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, you can find me on Twitter under Shamblon and Xbox and PlayStation under the same. What I'm doing for the next week, couple of weeks, I've still got uni work to do. I've got a 3,000 word report to write. Um, not let you have Christmas off. Um, 3,000 words? The, yeah, 3,000 word. Wow. Uh, Dude, one be... of my videos is around 5,000 words, so you're going to nail that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this... this... I don't even know what I'm doing for the report. I have no <laughs> idea. Just... I hate it when they, they kind of go, well, we're going to leave it vague. So it gives you a lot of room. It's like, no, tell me what you want from me. Don't <laughs> leave it vague. And then you kind of go, well, that's not quite what I was Hello, aiming for. Tell me. Around the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I can start off with that, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is... Tomba long. No. So I've got I've got a bit of uni work to do, but I'm gonna I'm obviously going to be finishing Halo. Um, I'm gonna try and finish my second playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, um, oh. I'm doing a game. I'm doing I'm game plus on the hardest setting. I'm about a couple of hours in into that. Sleep every time I play it. Really, I enjoy it. I like it. Out cold, man. But when are you streaming again, Sean? <laughs> uh, probably not for a while. Probably not for a while. I, I miss um, the Juice X streams, man. My Deus X stream was pretty cool. Yeah. Completing that on a a um, permadeath yeah. was pretty stressful. Oof. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be just mainly <laughs> catching up on a bit of sleep, doing a bit of work for uni, and catching up on a bit of gaming. Yeah. Um, Halo's the priority. That's uh, right, we'll sir. Go from there. <laughs> awesome stuff awesome stuff obviously our, our last remaining guest today the king david himself of the iron lords brother it's always a pleasure to have you on and let people know of course yes. where they can find you <laughs> and uh, and what you have got go coming up for the remainder of this year as well well i want to thank you guys um again like i said dutch call i come that's it uh, he, he put it in the chat and and I understand uh, uh, at the moment now I'm probably going to be doing double duties because uh, you know a cog situation again um, so always got to have a little Iron Lord face someplace and I always want to put my pretty little puss out pause um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I want to thank each and every last one of you guys uh, you know Shambhalan, Boxenberger, Vin Baja uh, and, and Dutch um I really love coming on to the show. Uh, it gives a different perspective for me in how you guys see games. Because remember how ga games are marketed to us here is completely different how it's yeah. marketed to you guys there. Yeah. It is. But, 
at, at the same time, we're we're getting close to the same effects yeah. Of, yeah. of 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 the games. You understand? And yeah. um yeah, Vin, I, I was totally into Sonic uh Frontier. Trust me, I I'm 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 right with you. I, I love I you, man. What, That's why you're the king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I see where they're going with like Sonic Colors, and, and um, yeah. I thought that was a good idea and, and reintroducing that, and to just give everybody uh, a good feel going forward and, and bringing the Sega uh, brand back to uh, uh, dominance. And you know, maybe we will get that Mario uh, Sonic type of you know rivalry going again. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Sega does for Nintendo. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like do 4K. Um, so, <laughs> literally now, right? Achievements, achievements. <laughs> but uh, for the rest of the year, like this afternoon, I'm, I'm going to be doing 108 Dragons. I'm going to be on the show for an hour. Uh, didn't know that I had double duty today. But again, like I said, got to pull double duty. Uh, I got a couple of shows and stuff that I'm working on. So going into the new year, uh, we're working on that. But PAX is open. Uh, PAX East is what we're going to start off with next year. So, you know, the end of the year is over. I'm finishing up these shows and we're gearing up for next year in person uh, interviews, uh, getting to, to, to hang out with the public again and stuff like that, uh, handing out t shirts, uh, talking about the podcast, getting to meet new people, uh, see new games, talking to developers. So, that stuff is what I'm looking forward to. So, it's been a very uh, good year as far as galvanizing everybody and moving forward. So, that's what you know. I'm pretty much into the solstice right now. I'm just waiting for the solstice to hit so we can just uh, <laughs> go on into the next year, and get some champagne on the first, and that's about it. But, uh, thank you guys for having me. You know, I do appreciate uh, you. Is that Chris- Crystal? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be doing Moet, sir. Uh, because you can only get one bottle of Cristal, but you can get two bottles of Moet. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. No, it's an, always always a pleasure, King. Always a pleasure having you on. And obviously, you, you know where the fridge is. You're always welcome. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Appreciate it so much. Pat, you, brother, to let people know, of course, what you've got coming up, brother, yeah. and uh, what you're going to be up to over the over the next few weeks going into the new year. Got some time off now, so what you're going to be up to? Well, uh, first of all, I want to thank King and uh, also uh, 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 ACG to yeah. come to the show. Uh, yeah, big shout out to you, man, uh, for making time free, of course. Uh, what I have coming up is, of course, this Saturday I'll be joining Dutch as well on his stream. Um, probably I will try to be as long as possible <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I wanted to support him because he supported me as well with my charity stream uh, back then when I had it. So, yeah, that's that's what I have coming up this weekend. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'll probably will be busy with work because of the uh, Christmas coming up and the business where I'm working in is, is it's quite busy. So I'll be focusing on, on work mostly and maybe squeeze some time for playing. But uh, yeah, it was, it really was an awesome year. Uh, I want to thank everybody who has joined our podcast uh, this year. Uh, a big shout out to everybody in the chat, of course, for hanging out with us. Uh, sharing their opinion about games, their experience and stuff. So yeah, it's it's been an awesome ride. Dutch again, thank you so much for for this crazy year, for the the great gameplays that we had, the laugh, uh, you name it. it. It was really awesome, man. So uh, yeah, thank you guys, <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to Friday as well for for Boxenberger, his show, his first live podcast. So Woo-hoo! yeah, man. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so thank you guys for for everything this year and uh, let's let's make uh, next year better yes. than it was this year. So, uh, so uh, that, and important. maybe hopefully we can finally maybe we can finally meet up and uh, definitely. Yeah, I'm looking James, forward to it, guys. So uh, James Colonia. Yes. Right. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Definitely. We all need all we'll need to meet up. We'll meet up at GameStop. We'll meet the lords <laughs> but, at GameStop as well. 
Okay, game stop. Game yeah. stop. Game stop. I'm alert. You guys game stop. I'm alert. Game stop. What? what? <laughs> game game stop. Games like come. Go games come. Not game stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dear. But you guys can find me, of course, on on Twitter and uh, on Twitch, of course. So, uh, yeah, that that's sort of the main platforms that I'm on, and uh, I will see you guys in the. Uh, who knows the streams that are coming up so uh, yeah man awesome stuff awesome brother awesome last but not least of course Hurtog Vin, uh, one of our in fact the newest panel member this year um but ex- hey but you have made it to the end of the first year <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nah, awesome stuff. Awesome is it, stuff. Is it, it's also the end of my contract now. Is, is my contract being uh, cleared up? <laughs> yeah, we need to have a meeting first. Uh, if, you, if you continue to promote oh. FIFA on here, probably. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, I won't be doing FIFA anymore, uh, Broody. But... Uh, I, I haven't touched it in weeks now, so. Yeah. Good. Never mind. Never mind. But yes, if you let people know, it's brother, where they can you... find you and what you've got coming up as well. Uh, well, you can find me on uh, Twitter, uh, Twitch, uh, Instagram. Uh, what else is there? Only fans. E- 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 everywhere. <laughs> on Xbox, PlayStation, OnlyFans, Pornhub. It's all uh, Hurt of Finn Mix. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm continuing Halo uh, Infinite, of course, but not on stream because I don't want to spoil. Yeah. So on my Twitch channel, it's uh, going to be Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. And after that, I think uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, I think, yeah. yeah. But first Final Fantasy VII Remake. And uh, yeah, this weekend I will be uh, supporting you, Drew, but my, as I, as I said at the beginning of the show, my youngest is also getting uh, six. Yeah. And we have this weekend full of uh, visitors, so yes. I will be joining, I will be <laughs> donating. Awesome. And I will be giving you some love. And thanks again for uh, having me on the show. It's uh, It's been a crazy ride. And I never expected to be on it. But, you know, it's uh, it's, it's been really fun, you know, meeting people like uh, the king with his crazy stories and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love the community here and love the guests we had. Uh, of course, you guys, Broody Burgers, uh, an amazing guy. I, I, I watched his videos and then uh, and now joining him on <laughs> talking about games and stuff like that is it's crazy, crazy. Uh, I love the community here. I met all this all these amazing people through Midweek Mix Up, and uh, like to thank you all. So happy holidays, happy New Year, and if if if, if Drew gives me a new contract, I will be back in uh, 2022. <laughs> 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 but you know, I I, I it, it it depends on my. My grade, I get it's it's, it's not been uh, been that good, I think, but we, we will see. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff, brother! Awesome stuff. No, a lot. So final... Where can we find you, uh, Drew? Yes, you can. Of course, you can find me. You can find me here, right here on on YouTube at Wondering Dutch, and uh, Twitter at Wondering Dutch, on Xbox at Wondering Dutch, and over on Twitch under Midweek Mix Up Collective. Um, of course, we'll be yes. we'll be streaming on both Twitch and YouTube, so there is both. You can watch it on both places this weekend for the the charity stream. So don't feel the need to have to do one or the other. You can join in either. Um, but it's going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, a final shout out once more again to everybody that comes and supports us every week. Um, of course, we wouldn't be where we are without you. We are just uh, more people with voices. And we're absolutely privileged that you would want to come and and join us, listen to our opinions on games every week, um, and just sit down, have a laugh, um, uh, and and obviously support us. Um, So massive shout out to everybody. I hope you all have an amazing New Year, uh, an amazing Christmas, um, or any holiday that you, you of course, uh, have. Um, Peace out. Much love to everybody. Have a great one, and good night. Bless you. See you guys. guys. Take care, people. See you, man. Yeah.